This is the Simplistic Reviews Show Live. Uncut, unfiltered and unapologetic talk with DJ Valentine, Matthew Stewart and Justin Polizzi. Yeah, right. we'll, I'm get, we'll get back to the rest of this later. Do that over again. So welcome, everybody, to the Simplistic Review Show live. Live, live, We're live. just going to do random <laughs> shit and talk about things going on today. No uh, structure. No structure. There's still a little bit of a structure. structure. I did some of my homework. So oh, I got, somebody did homework. I got, a, I got a legal pad here out of some notes that I've written down. Yeah, and, and we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game. Oh, I have a special game designed for you guys today. It's going to be maybe a thing we do every so often, but uh, you'll Live see. Game. You'll get it. It's, it's a news-like game, so there's, there's a reason behind it. Let's do it. And it's, and it's fucked up, so that's simplistic reviews for you. Yeah! Say it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say it. Don't don't not say it. Don't, so let don't. me just uh, repeat again that we are live on Facebook, YouTube, mm-hmm. Twitch. So I, didn't, I didn't fuck it up there. Twitch. No, no you did right. Periscope. Mm-hmm. And on simplisticreviews.net. So you can see us right there on the homepage on simplisticreviews.net. You can listen you can to see the show us everywhere, man. This is, yeah. No it's, other podcast is doing this, baby. It's the most incredible thing ever, I'm pretty sure. It's, <laughs> it's, it's huge. It's huge. It's very huge. It's very it's big. Huge. I have the biggest podcast. The biggest podcast. The best podcast. My daughter, I don't want to have sex with her. That was a joke. I was yep. just joking. I was very drunk. I was but very I drunk. Do. I fucked it. Okay, fine. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay, whatever. Hey, Get out of here. Get out of here, Two-Face. <laughs> that, happened on, that happened on Twitter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't what matter. You say on Twitter, Twitter. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, that was. Well, we'll, we'll that talk was, about that. We're gonna talk about that. That was when you were seventeen. <laughs> That's coming up. <laughs> and if you want to join us, Come you can join you. us. You can join us. I'm gonna have the uh, Facebook chat up. Um, I think somebody is. Are you Matt? Are you in Twitch? Is yep. that you? Oh, I'm, yeah. in, I'm in Twitch. I have Facebook. Okay. So we're, we're, we're taking care of everything, baby. We're you can monitor one, and I'll monitor the other if you want, or both. Right. And you can also call us uh, in the yep. U.S. at one. Six four six eight seven six nine nine two three. So today we're gonna have a little. Uh, this is the first episode of the Simplistic Review Show, season well, one. I'm thinking one. the first live. Show. <laughs> first live. Things yeah, are gonna change as we progress, and we'll probably change things up. I know there's a couple of <laughs> things that we're we're adding. I just added. I bought a stream deck. An Elgato stream deck on Amazon Prime. Deck. Elgato. So I'm I'm running this entire show off of the uh, the simplistic uh, stream deck. I guess we can call it. Cool. simplistic deck. Ooh, that sounds it's, like sci-fi-ish. It's pretty cool. It's pretty. It's pretty neat stuff. I just wish it was like a little bit bigger with a couple more extra buttons, but I got a pretty good deal on it. So gotta love that Amazon Prime day. I know not everyone really got the get anything because what's the damn the thing that, didn't work what's the name of that amazon prime guy who owns amazon what's his name again uh jeff uh, bezos bezos Lex Luther? He's, <laughs> he's running the world right he's gonna buy everything he's gonna buy me he's gonna buy jeff, everything jeff bezos bought my virginity uh, probably probably i believe it <laughs> a few times over <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> you well, think you're a virgin now, now. wait till tomorrow I guess, I guess kept getting my uh like get uh, de-virginized or unvirginized <laughs> re-virginized yeah, yeah. Got and how's that soundboard working out for you dj uh, let me see what we got here i got a little michael kane action hold on one second one day i saw a child playing with a ruby the size of a tangerine i got oh, some space balls we ain't found shit you know i got a little i got a little lloyd bridges you gotta have the best bridges like i picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines you know what i'm saying <laughs> i also got uh oh i can't forget billy something out there waiting for us is that Billy Bats? No, 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 no. That's too early. Too early. <laughs> <laughs> too early? <laughs> Billy. You gotta keep. Uh, you gotta keep. Uh, you know, bear, you gotta bury the lead. You gotta bury the lead. He was fucking. Is that the lead? Yeah. I don't know. If that's the lead. God, I would love Billy as Shazam. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking kid. I was a kid. I know. I'm fucking <laughs> cutting my chest with a fucking machete. <laughs> <shit. laughs> There's a fucking kid in the woods. <laughs> We're all dead. 
girl did. Oh, so don't that, worry, Chuck. Yeah, and that's uh, I built that little soundboard with a uh, a little PC. It's about the size of a credit card. Is I it, guess. Is it the, the size one? of a? T- Wait. I saw a child playing <laughs> with a loot the size of a tangerine. I'm glad you that's got that. Isn't that big? Yeah. Is he building a machine the size yeah. of a tangerine? Of a, tangerine. <laughs> a ruby. <laughs> a ruby. <laughs> a ruby. Uh, but yeah, so, this is awesome. Yeah, all right, good. You're ready to get annoyed by that, but that's going to pretty much happen every random second. <laughs> well, yeah. You never know when there's going to be a drop. Yeah, let's, let's, calm it down. let's calm it down a little bit, okay? Okay, okay. We got, we got, back in. We got people. This conversation how's that in? Twitch stream looking there? How's it sounding? You see it? You hear anything? Anything good? I'm seeing it. I'm hearing it. It's uh, looking live on Twitch. And we're we're everywhere. Sounding good? All right, fantastic. So we're going to. We're going to. Sounded downright fucking delicious. Like if I want to, you're gonna fucking you know, put it in, the, you're gonna put it in your mouth. <laughs> that's what you're gonna do with it. <laughs> I would have stick it right up in my ass. Oh wow, it's the opposite. I would have put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start off with a little. Uh, well, the yeah. reason why we're doing this is because of uh, Comic Con. So we're gonna. I got some some news that we're gonna we're gonna look at yeah. and talk about. And then we'll probably dive into some trailers that have came out, which I know some of us are dying for certain ones. And then uh, maybe we'll play a game and uh, do some weird, funky news going on in the the world today. In the world today. Yeah. Always news in the world. And we're going to bring it to you live. Live. Live on like how many platforms? Let's see, one, two, three, four. We're on PlayStation. Maybe <laughs> simplisticreviews.net is five. We are going it's to Twitch. Beat this thing into the ground. There's I a mean, Native American outside with simplistic review smoke signals. We got every fucking. We got ravens. We've got fucking. We got ravens. <laughs> We've got every fucking thing you can want. Somebody's doing Morse code out there with our fucking. You voice. want it? You got it. <laughs> All right. So let's let's start All off. Right. Let's start off with some. Uh, some small news mm. and we'll work our way up. How's Plain that sound? News. You just want to get the, the uh, elephant in the room out it, right away. W- 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 there's so many elephants that happened in the last three days. So like which the, elephant uh, you're talking about? Dumbo Sarah, one, double two, Sarah, that bar, Lewis which one are you talking about? Brand <laughs> elephant show. I want to, I want to talk about maybe uh, the screenwriter for Batgirl and birds of prey. Have you, uh, have you heard anything about this? <laughs> what Jay Leno? <laughs> 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 Let me tell you something about the birds. Have you heard about this? Have you heard about the birds? Don't screen right the birds. I haven't heard about it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Who is this guy? Say his name. Say say her. 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 It's a she. Christina. Christina Hudson. I think her last name was Hudson. I'm not aware. Christina Hudson. No one's really aware of her because she's only done two other movies, which I looked at the reviews uh, Mm. the other day. Uh, we're looking at like on IMDb, one was like 4.2. I think the other one was close to a five. The only good things about it were the acting. And somehow Warner Brothers has decided to hire her. And I'm not trying to put her down, but this is something I kind of wanted to talk about because of the theme here is that I've noticed a lot of big studios hiring people that don't necessarily seem qualified to take on not alone, not, not just two movies, but even one. And she apparently is doing Bad Girl and Birds of Prey. Do you think those mm. movies are going to be done, though? I mean, I don't. I, well, I don't yeah. think Bad Girl's ever going to get made. <laughs> no, I think Bad Girl's yeah. going to get made because as Black as Widow. There's money in, uh, yeah. I well, think Black Widow. Remember, remember DC's not fighting from behind this time. They don't need. They got Wonder Woman. They're good. Oh they're, yeah, yeah. They, no, they but but I lag in it so far. But they need more. I think yeah. I think they want to come out. Uh, we'll we'll talk a little bit about DC later. But I think this is definitely something. I know Birds of Prey. Hmm. There's a lot of talk online about it because the main villain was supposed to be the Penguin in yeah. Birds of Prey, and that has well, changed. Warner Brothers changed has it? changed that. Yeah, they dropped them, but I believe it started. Uh, a while back, I think Warner Brothers had said that the Penguin was going to show up in a DC film uh, that's slated to come out soon, which pretty much means most the likely the Batman's <laughs> going to have the Penguin in it. And that's what everyone's kind of... I heard Josh Gad read for it, but that was like a while back. I don't know if yeah. they've... I don't know if he was reading for the Batman 
or he was reading for Birds of Prey. Hey, everyone, remember when Deathstroke was introduced? <laughs> Joe Manganiello? <laughs> remember that guy? <laughs> I guess not. For five seconds. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to read a quote uh, from Christri- C- Christina real quick. This is uh, the screenwriter lady. Yeah, she's this talking about Harley. Oh, God. Okay. And she says Harley is uh, complicated because she was created by a man and is flawed and complicated. So, because she, because she was created by a man, I guess that's what that was kind of going at. I think what she was saying is huh. she was she was going there, and then she kind of turned around, which was a quote is kind of why I wanted to talk about this. <laughs> is Harley complicated and is flawed? I'm not sure exactly what she meant by that. If she meant uh, the character itself or the fact that she was created by a man, so mm. well, you think you're you tr- you think you're you're trying to figure out if she meant. The yeah. character was created by uh, like Paul Dini in the Bruce Tim or whatever. Yeah. Right. And hence, it's not a good character. The character of Harley. And I think she probably yeah. meant that it is a complicated character. I mean, the quote is a kind of wacky. Harley Quinn is a complicated character in yeah. terms of the character. It's not worded very. I mean, either the person who took the quote doesn't know how to take quotes correctly or yeah. the quote I don't know. doesn't make sense. She said or, it was hard, you know, hard to write. And I don't know if it's because Suicide Squad just wasn't a good movie to begin with. It wasn't no. a good Harley. Yeah. I mean, well, actress-wise, it was good. Minority. I didn't mind Harley. Except no, no, I'm talking, the... about, I'm talking about ba- story-wise and, and, right, 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 and, and background. Um, I, I, I Hopefully she didn't take, she wasn't watching that and then Jesus thought God. about it not being, you yeah. know, Please tell me actually that. explained <laughs> a little bit better. Maybe David there. Because honestly, that. Harley yes. is a complicated character of, of who she is but also i think i think honestly it's a pretty simple character um the one, the one thing they did wrong when I mean, we've talked about this before it's the too one thing right for you know and to, to create a story around i don't think it's hard it's not like the calendar man yeah. bringing the calendar man in and like trying to figure no, out how to no. create a story harley's got really good stuff behind her so yeah and they got it wrong the thing about Harley Quinn that I, I, I remember, I really hate Suicide Squad, except for I really like Margot Robbie's Harley I, I don't Queen. think any, if honestly, if there's one <laughs> I person, people, I know call people, you know somebody? Call I know many people. that like Do you that. have their phone number? <laughs> Please call in. At, uh... Please text them right now and tell them to no, call but I do show. know people who like that movie, but I, I, I did not like that movie, but I liked Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, and I liked the portrayal of Harley Quinn, except for one scene. I don't know if we've talked about this before, where I, this is when I realized they don't understand this character. When I guess it was Enchantress is giving everybody like visions of what they want the most. Oh, the, the Harley, kitchen scene. Yeah, Harley imagines yeah, her and the Joker and picket like fences. Quit, yeah. Harley Quinn would never ever imagine picket fences and, you know, everything is like fucking Lord, uh, Ozzy and Harriet. They would be sitting on thrones in a burning Gotham with hyenas surrounded. That's where Harley Quinn's mind's at. She yeah. is now at this point broken. You cannot she's, yeah, she's not the her. domesticated goddess. Right, that she's not domesticated. Was so so, uh, so created in suicide. And poison and poison ivy even brought even more of that out of her. If it wasn't the Joker that brought yeah. the the first bit of the rebellious, I've been holding this back in my real mental state part. Poison Ivy even brought it more where she was independent from the Joker. But no, no, there's no, I want to be with, I mean, there's the pudding stuff, yes, but it's it's the Sid yeah. and Nancy shit. It's the fucking yeah. dirt it's shit. It, I, Mr. And J. Pumpkin, and honey, Mr. Um, pumpkin and Honey Bunny Pulp Fiction relationship. It's not, oh, I want to live in the Ozarks and I want to have a, the, the two, the, the nuclear family. None of that shit. And if you're going to take fucking lessons from Suicide Squad, and you want to know how to write Birds of Prey, do not take lessons about Harley Quinn from that shit. It, it, that scene is in particular. Watch the fucking animated series. Read the fucking comic book. Do not fucking pay attention to Suicide yeah. Squad, except for and it's, and it's been Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Paul, Paul Dini created then, uh, was it, uh, Amanda uh, Patani. I, I think she's the one who did the Harley Quinn, uh, sing, the, the standalone book and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She made her more fun and kind of, fan, like, of course, Joker wasn't associated with it you know at all but then you have the suicide so you have like three versions of harley quinn that are floating around dini's version amanda patani's version and then you have the suicide squad version from the other comic books where she's even more off kilter so um i think I it makes know. her i think it makes her more of the thing i like about harley quinn even though 
anime series kind of tiptoes around us and the Poison Ivy story that I like so much because it made her independent from the Joker, made her more <laughs> of an equal, is that if you make her want to imagine domesticated life with the Joker, it makes her the victim. I like the fact that the Joker awoken something in her that made her be empowered. That's what I like about Harley Quinn, which I think the, the Arkham... Uh, movie, the, the uh, Suicide Squad, Assault on Arkham, kind of touched on where she is smart, she is a genius, but she is twisted now. That's not because she was never going to be twisted. I just think the Joker essentially opened the door and she walked through it. I don't want to have where, you know, the Joker is the reason she's bad all the time. No, I think that was just something that she was like holding back and the Joker had, had her take her blinders off. I don't want her to imagine white picket that just makes her such a weak character and such a oh i i all i care about is loving mr j which is fine in terms of the sid and nancy shit where they just want to she just because yeah. mr j is her ideal partner for the outlet for her chaos but that's not should not be the only thing about her which i i mean and you're telling me this chris, oh. chris, chris what's her name crystal chris chris christina, christina. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I, Christine Hudson. We, we I, I will say this I will say this, Justin. I remember we had this a, a similar conversation about another writer who got tasked to do writing on something, and we were you, you were worried, and I was you brought up a lot of points. I was like I was starting to get worried too, and that was Black Panther, and that turned out well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that you know somebody who's now is a Walter Armada is now in charge of DC. They kind of like hey, okay, look. Uh, don't worry about the Suicide Squad stuff. Just, just take Harley and then do what you want with that character in terms of this way. You don't have to follow anything from that fucking movie. Mm. <laughs> Erase that shit from your memory. <laughs> do whatever you want. Take what you like, leave the rest. I feel like there's a, kind of a, a pseudo issue now with these female characters where all these studios feel into, like beholden to have females take them over. As opposed, like, and most of them, I mean, what do you say? Men have created, what, 90% of all female yes characters i would probably say in comics and everything so it's now they're going down this road of okay the men have dealt like have handled it for so long now we have to have a female perspective which is fine but you know you still got to keep certain roots of the character don't completely uproot it and just kind of make her almost a martyr in a lot of ways i, I don't know it's kind of a weird thing and with that quote i don't know it's kind of even weirder it just kind of opens up a lot more questions about what do you really mean by that? I hire the best person. I don't give a yeah, fuck. To hire the best person, you just don't have to hire Women, anybody. Vegetable, mineral. Just hire. The, if 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 Catherine Bigelow can direct yeah. a badass Avengers movie, hire Catherine fucking Bigelow. Yeah. If fucking uh the, the David Leach can direct a badass motherfucking Black Widow movie, hire David Leach. Hire the best person for the job. I don't give a shit what they are. If, it was, if all the Marvel movies are directed by women and they're badass directors and they know yeah. what the fuck they're doing and make good shit, I don't give a fuck. I don't care who's making these fucking movies. It could be a robot. As long as it's good. I, I think care. there's just a lot of tiptoeing going around now where it's like, I don't know. It's just kind of, we're, in a, we're in a weird place right now. We'll always be. It's, a, it's, it's going to get worse before it gets better because yeah. it's like, it, it's true. It's like representation has been really, really, and still really, really bad. Yeah. And it's, it's now your kind of studios are trying to put on a good face. Some of them actually want to do the right thing, but most of them are just trying to like, well, play, we're, we're, we're cool, don't, you know? And they're trying to, you know, well, we'll just hire a woman director. That'll, that'll make everybody like us, right? But yeah, right. I, yeah. I, 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 that way is almost like patronizing uh, yeah. uh, diversity. It's not taking anything <laughs> away from this Christine, from Christine Hudson. I mean, maybe I don't she'll, know her for Adam. Maybe, Adam, so maybe Adam. she'll do a fine job and sure. we won't be talking about later on, but it's kind of, you know. But who's the girl that's got gas to direct? You, you brought it up on the show the, the girl to direct I Black know. Widow. I, I still don't know anything about this lady. She's I, done I, a few movies. She's in the same boat as as Christine Hudson. It seems where it's a relative unknown. I mean, outside of maybe the people that really like, um, and maybe we just don't know shit about movies or people and anymore. Because what we do is talk about DC and Marvel because we're fucking idiots. You know? <laughs> I don't. It's, I mean, look, look at look at with Atomic the Blonde. Blonde. People didn't really like Atomic Blonde. I I didn't mind it, but I and that's David Leach, and I thought that was I mean as close to a Black Widow movie as you're gonna fucking get. That's not a Black Widow movie. <laughs> so, but I mean, and that's a dude. But I mean, yeah. Catherine Bigelow directed Hurt Locker. That's one of the most fucking gritty, Pretty fucking manly. <laughs> like, there's literally no 
females in that film. Holy shit, it's the most gritty fucking war film you've seen. In, in, I don't even think years. you see like I, anybody's wives in that film. Follow the it's, talent. It's all man. men. It's it's testosterone. Talent. Yeah, follow the talent. But she bro. did Point you Break, know. by the way, too. So. Oh yeah, Point Break, which is the most dutiest dude movie. Fucking dude. Utah, give me two. <laughs> you'll grow. You'll grow a dick. <laughs> if like, you don't have a dick, you'll grow one. Yeah if, you, if, yeah, if you don't have a dick, you'll get one. <laughs> if you lost your dick in a war, you'll get oh, one back. Point Break, holy shit! Watch, I forgot how much I love that fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Gary Busey in there. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Gary Busey should be in a, in a DCU. Oh, is he ABC okay? I haven't. I know his son's in the Predator movie, but I haven't yeah. seen ABC in a minute. Predator movie. Oh, sorry. Predator. Is it the Predator? What the it's, fuck's it called? It's the Predator. Which, which, I, which I find very odd in this day and age of you know. This is called the Predator. <laughs> it's like the Fast, the Furious, and Fast and Furious. Is, yeah. this, is they put the article. Furious Five, in. Fast. <laughs> I know it's. I know. I'm not looking forward to that Predator movie. Oh man, what do you think about? What do you think about, do you think about it, Justin? What? Because I think you think the same thing I think about that movie, which is it looks. I think it looks kind of fun. Really? I think it looks fun. Explain. Explain, please. <laughs> Tell us. No, I, this is also coming from the guy who really likes Predator too. So, dude, dude, dude for real, say it. Tell us what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, it's rated R. It's going to be, uh, you know, the Predator is doing Predator shit again. I don't know. Looks like a Shane Black Predator movie. It's gonna t- is it taking place during Christmas? Oh, no. I don't think Looks so. like it was snowy in some scenes. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Like, I mean, it could be look, fun. It could be shitty. Dynamic. It just looks like a TV show. It's like a television version of The Predator. It's, that's what, I don't know. I don't, I don't. A new motherfucker is going to go see it. So it not Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> of course, every, of course, all three of us are going to see it. It's as much shit as we talk about it. We're still going to sit in the theater and watch. Forced to watch that fucking movie. I don't, I don't know. Something about that movie doesn't. This, Nostalgia, this, man. It's a fucking hell of a drug. What about it? Don't you like Justin? Because maybe it's something I, different. You know. I don't know. I think the from what I've seen, I, I kind of like the poster. It's kind of neat looking, but as yeah, the po- yeah. as the poster goes, the trailer, I, I feel kind of blew its load. Uh, no. Right off the bat, so the entire film. Yeah, I for the entire film, it's not going to be in the movie. I guarantee talking to you. Mm. Yeah, it could be, but there was some things that uh, I don't know. It, it 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 might be fun, like Matt is saying, <laughs> but I just don't see it really going down that path. Something about it. I mean, I I honestly think, other than some of the issues I had with the trailer and and, and hmm. some of the people that are in it. What Shane Black did with uh, Iron Man three really let me <laughs> He's back in his element, I think. Now he's creating yeah. a movie about a bunch I of like rough nice guys. I like, I like nice guys. guys. That was a good. You no, know, I hope. It's, but it's, it's 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 a movie with a bunch of rough very, with backstories. Whatever. He's a, he's very skilled in his writing and um, just you know the directing and whatnot. It's it's. <sighs> He, he's done some of the, the greatest loves of my life. And unfortunately, he's also done some things that... <laughs> and Iron Man 3 was one of the worst things I've seen in a boy. long time. Oh boy. I'm out of, I mean, and that's another movie that I can tell you. I know many, many people who love that people movie. like love that movie. It. I don't, I don't know if that's possible. That movie. Love it. So it's not a movie you, I go back to the well on. It's like, oh, I've only seen hey, it Iron Man 3 is not watch cool. movie again. I'm, like, oh, I'm done. Well, I'm not going to so we, we just went over um, uh, Batgirl and Birds of Prey and just apologize. We had audio issues because... Oh, really? Yes. I, I, I fixed audio. them. It should be good. It looked like our um, online client took over the audio output. So huh. um, I don't know what that fixed, means. But... So luckily we got that a little early. Somebody's <laughs> listening and it's not the right people. Yes. <laughs> That yeah. Predator movie, before you, before you move on, Justin, I, that Predator movie should be so. leaning into Thomas Jane, not... The, the guy from Logan. Though I like the guy from Logan. Scott you got Keegan Thomas Michael Jane, G, bro. He's fine. He, well, he's, fine. I, he's fine. But I, Thomas I, Jane's I, a listen, fucking badass. He is. Yeah. He is. I'll, I'll, I'll give that to you. He, he's great. I'll see, I'll see the movie for him, honestly. And because it's a go. Predator movie. But when you add like the little kid aspect to it, uh, I'm not uh, too sure about that. that. Yeah, is that do. the kid from fucking Iron Man? Is that the fucking kid from Iron Could be. It could be. But... Black it don't matter. Player. It's a kid. Or is the kid and, from the and, room? You know, it's one of TV, the kids. TV shows always had this issue where 
they had this badass adult and all of a sudden his family comes in and then like the kids come in and the kids get these storylines and the kids start watering down and it always ruins it. Um, yeah. And that's, I, you know, I don't want that to happen. If they effectively <laughs> use it, that's great. Um, Olivia Munn is in it. Uh, yeah. I'm not a big God. She's in that movie. I'm not a big fan of, yeah. of, no. of that no. casting. No, 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 no. Um Sterling K. Brown's great. I don't know. Yeah. Is like not... Every everybody else is, isn't the guy from. I'm worried. Uh, I'm worried. I'll the, say the that the guy from Moonlight's in that. Isn't the guy from Moonlight in that too? Is he? He might be. I, I'm not. You don't, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't know. You, you don't know. know. You, I saw. You Tom, I saw stuff. Thomas Jane. I I'm saw sure. Keegan Michael. <laughs> like, oh, uh, but I like <laughs> the poster. The poster, the poster cool. was neat looking. I thought. I think we're talking ourselves into it a little bit. Yeah. No, I think you're trying to talk me into it. Can't wait now for it. You went over Pelosi. Speaking of movies, I cannot wait for. Uh, one? Zombie one? Land Two got a release oh. date, uh, October oh, yeah. did we talk about it last time. Well, we didn't talk about the release date, and honestly, no, yeah. is it? It's it was a big it was a big deal in Comic Con next uh, year, right? Was yeah, it a big uh, deal? Two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. I is it me or is it is the zombie thing a little uh, done? Uh, done. Even fucking Rick Grimes is over. Rick He's Grimes is leaving. leaving. Yeah. Rick Grimes that's is out. A, that's when you know shit's bad. When Andrew uh, Lincoln. Who they waited too long for millions. They waited too long. I, I no, this is a, a sequel. I think people were asking for a TV show in between when the movie this. came out the originally. That nobody that nobody cared about the TV show. Why did they care about the TV show? Was it, it, was it, it was on Amazon. Amazon? It was on Amazon. It was one of the pilot ones. It was a. It was going to be a oh, show. You, you people picked? voted for it. Yeah. But it, I think it said they picked like Alpha New. I don't remember like the, that. I don't. It was so quick. College. It was so quick. You can probably find it online too. I remember uh, JVC. It was one episode. D. <laughs> JVCD, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that lasted a while. The, the, the Zombie Land, I think, had like three episodes and it was done. Yeah, it, it was, wow. yeah, it, it was a quick death. <laughs> so nobody gave a shit about it then. So why are they giving a shit about the? the I, don't I want know. Woody Harrelson. Just... I mean, Woody Harrelson's character in Zombie Land is great. Yeah, he's fine. I just I rather them. I'm, I'm done with zombies, bro. The, the, Unless they starting to fight something else. It's not Zombie Land. It's like Vampire Land or some shit like that. Uh, may, may, Werewolf Land or the something. The period for this movie. <laughs> has passed for it to yeah. come out uh and yeah about four years ago this has got the uh, sin city syndrome written all over oh it. yes yeah perfect. exactly perfect and, fucking example <laughs> and did that did they they did that come out news wise at comic-con too i think uh what? That's when this, they were gonna this be, was had like, a, i think they had a a, a, a panel at comic-con yeah. Right? yeah they did it was like hey it's back it's yeah, like we got like, jessica alba uh, back and okay. she's playing uh something i never you know what's bad it <laughs> Just Gal was playing a younger. So, a younger. I ne- I have never even seen Sin City two. I never even watched. I, it. I haven't either. And it had everybody in it who I liked. I yeah, I love Eva Green. You know how much I love Eva Josh Green. Josh Brolin, best fucking Bond girl of all time. Josh Brolin's pretty cool. Joseph uh, Gordon Levitt's in it. I'm sorry, Dawson's back. It waited too long. It waited too long, yeah, and you're right, man. It's just that's part. Sometimes of it. it works. Incredibles, it works. Sometimes it had its, it had its window, <laughs> and the window is closed. And I honestly yeah. could care less. They're just yeah. trying to keep the zombie thing like going, 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 going. Yeah, zombies, man. I need a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Zombies don't give you a light at the end of the tunnel. Vampires is a light at the end of the tunnel. Kill Dracula, you win. It's over. <laughs> Kill Dracula, and you win. <laughs> zombies are just there. This is fucking there. You can't get rid of them. There's no cure. You can't. I mean, shit. Even Resident Evil has a boss. What the fuck are yeah. you doing? Wesker. <laughs> Wesker. Kill Wesker. Kill Wesker, you win. It's over. But then Wesker keeps coming back, so it doesn't fucking matter. That's true. Yeah, fuck but at yeah. least they That's make wild. those those sequels within the time period. Oh, yeah. yeah, they make them every yeah. five. Those they won't come out tomorrow. They shit them yeah. out. Like, there's no exactly. they come out quick. They're pretty consistent. It's like once every year and a half, you're going to get a when resident. Was the, when was the first Zombie Land? January. Oh, the first movie? The, the first, first Zombie Land? Uh, what year? Zombie Land? I think it was 2013, maybe? Was it 13? I'll look was it up right it, now. Was it that? I, I think so. Hold on. I'll look it up. Abigail like Rose? Said, I'm kind of, I'm kind of putting it in perspective of when she was in Will Miss Sunshine. So. Zombie Land 2009. Wow. Nine Ooh. years ago. Yeah, well, I, thought was, I thought it was. Look, it'll come out a decade ten, later. Ten, ten years. years. It's saying Incredibles, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's saying, you can't do that. I was 24 back then. I'm going to be 34. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. In ten years. Ten years. I don't give a shit anymore. Emma Stone was care. a fledgling actress. Yes. Now she's Academy Award winning actress. Academy actors. Award winning Emma Stone. And Abigail Breslin is Academy nominated. And Woody I Harris like Jesse Academy Eisenberg Academy. at that point. Woody I hate him now. Academy <laughs> nominated. These are old. Yeah. Yeah, he just like Luther at that point. He hadn't, he hadn't this, this, taken a shit on one of the greatest characters in all of fucking media at that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then the other thing that came out, um, we'll switch into um, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie. Um, some information has come out on that. It looks like they're 
really pushing um, for this one as opposed to Jerry Leto's. But um, <laughs> again, I know we talked about this last podcast, but uh, I, I really still feel it's it's I rather this happen because I'm kind of interested as opposed to the Jarrett Leto one. But again, I think it's uh, uh, oversaturating uh, their slate. It seems like um, when they bought the new guy in from uh, Warner Brothers, the mm-hmm. guy that did the um, Conjuring uh, series, oh, yeah, yeah. you ever see that? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I you know, and I think he he you know he cut a lot of the the fat off, and 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 Warner Brothers was really overdoing it. I'm really surprised that this made it through. Um, I, well, you guys he's not he wasn't going to cut. Back. If he had to pick between, well, I guess you got well, Academy Todd, Award Todd with Todd Leto, and you have right, Academy so, Award which is nominated, too. yeah, Joaquin Phoenix. But we both know if he had the one has an Oscar, and one doesn't. But you know, Joaquin's a better actor than Cheryl. <laughs> It's oh, not yeah. even, not well, even close. It's yeah. You know, it, and it's an, it's a. So he wasn't going to say no to that. He wasn't going to say no. I'm not. I'm not going to take Joaquin Phoenix. I'm not going to do the Joaquin Phoenix project with Scorsese at the time attached to it. No, I'm. I'm but not, he I'm, could have said, you know, well, let's let's go forward with this. But instead, they came out and said this is a different universe. So we have different universes going uh, on. Wonderful. Yeah. Cluster. So just, that, just this universe doesn't work. This one's definitely going to work. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it either. <laughs> Um, what did you guys think oh. about the casting for uh, It Chapter 2? I liked it's, everyone. Jessica but... Chastain's like the crown jewel. And... Well, you got McAvoy in there, who's probably one yeah. of the most underrated actors working. And he's yeah. a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Uh, I, I, Bill Hader's dope. Mm-hmm. Isaiah Mustafa? Uh, stunt cast? I mean, I don't, I don't, I haven't watched his TV show that's on, I think he has a TV show on MTV or some shit. I, I don't, I just know, everybody knows him as the Old Spice guy. I mean, you could have got. It, it, it seems like a, a guy. I don't. I don't see him as the grown up Ben. No. Uh, the grown up. Uh, I mean, maybe kid. he'll again. Maybe he'll surprise. Because I've yet to see him do anything of the new really spice. Ben in anything. He hasn't done anything besides. No. Ha- he's, a, he's a show on MTV. I heard he was on, but I I, I never uh, watched. Uh, but uh, I I mean, you could get. I think they just it, spent too much on Jessica. I, I mean, Je- but Jessica's doing this as a favor. Oh, She's yeah, friends yeah. with the fucking director. I, I don't know. Who's getting I don't know that. She was in Mama yeah. with her, him. So uh, I, I think exciting, he could have got a better actor. But yeah, you know, it, 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 I know. I, I know. Like I, I kind of shitted on the first one when the trailer came out and whatnot because I, I, I thought that it was going to rely on. We were coming up we, to your to your credit. We were coming off a of dark tower, and sure. we were just like, "Yo, bro, we cannot." There's just no <laughs> Stephen King adaptation. So when it came along at the right time to be like, "Okay, look, Dark Tower is a shit storm." Mm-hmm. We're not that bad. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that, that was terrible. I don't know if we that ever really bad. did. We talk about dark. No. We talked about it briefly. Dark yeah. Tower was a fucking that was bad. <laughs> you guys, I, I didn't even bother to see it. So I, I saw saw it. the theater. I theater. Paid for yeah. It. Really? Wow. Yeah. I went and I was, I it was interesting was saying, "Did you like it?" I was like, "No." I, I, no. I'm very surprised that that's how that movie went. <laughs> no, we, but that was that was like a hurricane. We knew there was problems coming. Where it was like, okay, we're gonna take seven books and make it in ninety minutes. Yeah, well, we're gonna take sense. I, I kind of three thousand pages. It could have, it could have worked. Um, right. There was a lot of scenes in that particular movie that just were cheap. Like that would be yeah. the word. That who directed that movie? Who did? Who did that? I forget I his know. name. I can't think of nobody. it. I put it to the side, but I like the <laughs> casting. But some, you know. Yeah, yeah, My, Matthew McConaughey's perfect. Yeah, I, I didn't mind. He had some over issues as, though. He had some overacting. He's hamming it up because he, but, but he's just those hand. guys are just doing what they got. Matthew McConaughey yeah. is no, no, great. I know. It starts with the script. It, it, it always it, starts it, with it, the script. Yeah, the, who the fuck wrote? I'm looking at something now. Hold but there were it's there were a, scenes. There were fighting scenes. Nikolai Arsel. Arsel. I'm looking at or like Nikolai asshole. Yeah, he did the Royal Affair. Remember that one? Oh yeah, like Oh, that's good. That's a classic. Well, he did. Do, he was the writer on the girl with the dragon tattoo, the original one, not the mm. no Numi, uh, the Numi Rapace one, or Rapace, yeah. whatever you want to call Which, it. They're doing this, this second one to that with a different actress. Well, it's yeah, they're doing the, the, the one crown with girl. Foy, but the it's not Foy, even. Yeah. A, it's like they're skipping past all the other two books and going right to the fourth book that was never released. You by know, the you author. know, dragon tattoo well. So what I happens do. after the first one? Gets um, she, keep, well, she just keeps getting into like other adventures. And it's the girl who kicked a hornet's nest and the girl who played with fire. Right. And well, now this one's you... called 
why wouldn't Girl, you bring uh, what's her name back? You think it was her? Oh, the money. That was a that was oh, a money oh, thing. That what's, was a money. What's your name? Thing. Daniel uh, Craig wanted and uh, Rooney Mara. They wanted money and they said yeah, but no. you could. I like it. Claire Foy far more than I like. Oh, I pa- I, I I completely. I'll take me. I'll take me a Claire Foy. <laughs> I think Rooney Mara is. I, that's when I think of Girl with Dragon Two t- Tattoo. I think of Rooney. I don't even think of the original. Yeah, she, r- Rapace. she really transforms her. herself. Yeah, um, and I just watched that recently. And uh, I, I love the Fincher version. I might good. be in the. It's really it's, good. It's, I like it a lot. That version. <laughs> it's my Ocean's Twelve. They should have kept her going. I think they could have made it work. Sure, they your boy. It's your boy's fault, Polizzi. It's it's your your cousin Craig saying no, I want no, money. No, no, you could do without money. Craig. You could do without Craig. I think I want, I want money. <laughs> I want money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> write them out. Still, still have the lead. Well, you, you pretty much, you pretty much could have. I mean, you you still just had Elizabeth Salander, which was like the main thing in the right. three books. Yeah. She didn't really need him because his arc ends. She pretty must much have just not book. wanted to do it. Maybe. Honestly. Uh, Rooney Mara, sister of Kate Mara, daughter they of, have the money. of the New York Giants. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they got that Heinz money. <laughs> they own, they don't they own two stadiums? I know they own the Giants. Pittsburgh and the Giants. I think yeah, it's Pittsburgh. near Pittsburgh. That's it. Giants. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Pittsburgh, that's right. They, 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 they got the Heinz that. money and they got the Giants money. They don't need – this is like play for them. This is like, yeah. oh, hobby. Yeah. But I think – And that's not saying they're not good. They're fine. Compared to Kate Mara, Rooney Mara I think is the one with the talent. Like, Kate's okay, but Rooney's the one with the talent. Like every time I see her in something, like if a social network or her or especially Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, I'm like, oh wow, she's fucking good. Like yeah. I mean, she just like, she puts me off a little bit. There's something about it that's just like, eh. well, I mean, really? it, you're right. I it works for that that's character. why I like Kate. I like Kate more better because she seems more affable, whereas Kate, Kate Mara like, 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 is like, like eh. <laughs> Kate Mara just seems like very like a, a, aloof. Like, ah, uh, she seems like no, she's rude. Rudy Mara like, looks aloof. No, 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 no. Rudy Mara seems like she's not a person. Like, like she's in a, uh, like she they milk they made her in a lab. Yeah, Kate she looks Mara, like, yeah. like Kate Mara's just like, well, I'm rich. I don't really care what happens in these movies. So I guess it it's a movie. Like when I when I hear an actor, it's a movie. I, I completely disconnect from that person. <laughs> you hate you hate. Yeah, she, really I don't like when I don't like when actors do that. It pisses me off, man. <laughs> it's like look, did it's just a podcast. It's fun. Yeah, she 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 she, she did that she, for the role. I mean, she she really transformed herself for the role. Yeah, she Rudy is. Eyebrows on. Yeah, Rooney actually put work in. I have not seen Kate Mara put a lot. Other than House of Cards, oh, yeah. I have not seen her do any sniper. No, oh, no. Oh, the, was it, what was it called? Shooter. Shooter. Shooter, Shooter. yeah. <laughs> with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. And now a TV show with uh, Ryan Phillippe. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. And Omar Epps. Who would have thought that would have worked? It's, is it two seasons, three seasons? It's on right? USA. Of course, it worked. Yeah, that's true. They never cancel anything. They never cancel anything. Like they, CBS Light. They are the they are the fucking they are the fucking anti Fox. They will keep. Though they are the host ever. of the greatest show on television, Mister Robot. Fuck all of you who disagree. It's a great show. Good. That show's good. Hey, 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 if you got a problem, Mister Robot, you. <laughs> Somehow with Sam, they just, they just the have some other out. questionable, uh, you know, stuff on there. Channel. Well. um... Uh, the next thing I have that came back is Iron Fist is coming back, huh? Iron Fist. Yeah. Did anybody see, did anybody see season two of Luke Cage? No, no. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this because I know I know where you're going with this, Polizzi. I know where you're going with this. Iron Fist, the first season, we're in agreement. Bad. Yeah. Titanically bad. Yeah. Iron Fist works when he's in close proximity yep. to Luke Cage. Mm-hmm. When he's with Luke Cage. Like in season two, when he season shows two, up yeah. for one episode, he's actually like, "Wow, I don't mind this Iron Fist. He's actually kind." The chemistry he had, uh, uh, that's probably why they cast him. Well, how was Iron Fist in Defenders? He was okay when he was with Luke Cage. Every time he's in the scene with Luke Cage, he's fine. When he's by himself, that, that's why I think they hired Finn Jones is because they probably did a screen test with him and Mike Coulter. And if you watch those scenes with just scenes with him and Mike Coulter, you're like, "Wow, okay, all right." When he separates, when he gets away from my culture and it's not here as far like, anymore. And it's hey, just I'm like, Danny Rand. Hi. It, it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't. And, and the first season, that's just one of the problems that Finn Jones is kind of like iffy. Second problem is that first season, it was about everything other than fucking Iron Fist, which was the problem. It's about a fucking building and the inheritance of a building. Yeah, there's a lot of a lawyering. And, and lawyers yeah. and fucking and, and pharmacy. A, a lot of boring <laughs> stuff that you do Boring yeah. shit. I don't give a fuck about in, it. In Kick a somebody. comic book series. About martial arts. On Netflix. <laughs> it's not on yeah. ABC. I feel like this was like, if the you were reading Iron Fist in the books, this is like, if it's a span of like 100 books from Iron Fist, this was like, season one was like issue 47 to 52. 
Hey, you know what would be good? If we take Enter the Dragon and we meld it with Wall Street, but we put more Wall Street than Enter yeah. the Dragon. No, bad fucking idea. <laughs> Give me fucking Bruce Lee kicking people. Yeah. That's what I want to see. But at least well, it looks like you're going you're gonna to get that this season. They didn't he call it the Iron costume, Pin. Right? He gets the costume Iron Contracts. Season. It's Iron Fist. <laughs> The uh, yeah, classic I, costume, I, I think. Iron tight contract. I, it's funny because the iron iron classic clad. costume I, is, is, is really goofy. He has a new upgraded one where it's kind of like a, and, and speaking of Bruce Oh, Lee, man, you mean we're never going to see the Power Man out? No, no, they're, they're saying he might wear the, the, the actual fucking one from the, the, the goofy yeah. one, but he doesn't need to for me. He just needs to wear the headpiece. Honestly. And then wear the, because in the comic books, the more recent one, he wears the Bruce Lee uh, yellow jumpsuit, but it's not yellow. It's black with yellow trim. It looks exactly like that. And he yeah. wears the headpiece. And that's passable to me. We're like, okay, I can de de deal that. And it looks like the scarf that he has on his head, I even like came up with like a little fucking thing where he, if you spoiler alert for Defenders, if you give a fuck, uh, uh, Daredevil <laughs> apparently dies. Oh, he's not dead. Um, and he, before he dies, he tells Iron Fist to watch over the city for him. And I'm like, okay, Iron Fist essentially is going to take up that mantle, but a good way for him to uh, use the headpiece is the scarf headpiece that Iron Fist wears is very similar to the first Daredevil outfit. Daredevil outfit so yeah. maybe he makes his own as honoring uh, Murdoch and he makes a, yellow makes a yellow one. Okay. Yeah, anything like that. You don't need to have the, the butterfly collar, green, whatever. <laughs> Give him a fucking track suit and all black with a yellow trim like he has in the comic. Because I think, I can't remember that was, who. That was the big news that the costume yeah, was coming in season two. But honestly, yeah. It's 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 not the costume. It's it's, it's the it's story. <laughs> and it's, 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 season it's, two, the costume will take care of itself. For Jessica right. Jones, season two no, was I don't, was yeah. atrocious. It and, started off so good though. We were we were on oh, we were on the we were on the train. We were, we were on, on the train. train. <laughs> we were like, oh, this is looking and good. It crashed. And, and fucking Bruce whoo. Willis was definitely oh, Bruce Willis not on that one. Survive it. Bruce Willis is like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I'm not a freak of yeah, that I was... don't need my raincoat no more. I need my no raincoat. All right, I'm looking so... up this outfit. You well, do you, do you like the uh, the casting of the, the Typhoid Mary? They're using her in this. Is that Alice Eve? That's who she's playing? She's playing Typhoid Mary? Yeah, yeah. which I like because that might bring us closer to Ghost Rider, maybe. Uh, well, we got Ghost Rider on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hey. Fuck you with his fucking car. Fuck you. <laughs> Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Hey, guys, hey, guess what? 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 Buffy's coming back. Yay. What? Did you know? Yeah. Did you hear about I this? Heard there was, yeah, I, heard I, heard, I heard reboot Buffy, and I was like, Re why? Well, you know what the, the headline I read? Oh, boy. Buffy what? reboot with a black lead. Oh, that's oh, a Buffy? That's, yeah. that, was, that was the headline I read. Do you Which want me to get a little nerd? I can get nerdy on you and explain to me why there could be a black lead, because there was a black uh, vampire it's slayer on Buffy. A black Buffy slayer. Slayer TV show because yeah, there's multiple layers. It's kind of a weird headline. Just <laughs> black lead. Just, black lead just say yeah, black lead. It's like we can say they're rebooting Buffy with this actress. Why does it have I to be? I believe that was <laughs> Io9. I think that. Oh yeah, that yeah, wrote yeah. That. Um, I, I, Josh, Josh is behind it. Really? Yeah, which I thought was kind of surprising because of you know the What's things that happened yeah. to him. Yeah, I thought he was gonna disappear. <laughs> Somebody I else. He, I can't Ghost Town. Think of his name. Mm. Hey guys. <laughs> Here's another one for you. Yeah. Now, Batman right. Hush is coming to uh, animated DC. How do you feel about Hush, Justin? I never heard your opinion about. Uh, oh, I like Hush. I like Hush, I like yeah, Hush a lot. Is it, Hush is I Hush don't like animated DC films anymore. <laughs> and honestly, the only two that I've liked were the ones that starred Adam, Not Ward, after a Adam West and Burt Ward. <laughs> I told you to watch Death of Superman. I thought I thought it was good. I thought it was really. I'll uh, get uh, around to it. But let me tell you something. I I I watched a few <laughs> animated Batman films these last few years of my life, mm -hmm. and I have become so. I just no. I'm just dull to it. Like when I look at it, I just I'm dead inside from it because um, <laughs> it doesn't make sense half of the shit they do anymore. Um, there's, there was the, well, they take very interesting liberty and honestly it was the only thing that dc had going for them marvel couldn't even get close to an ounce of what dc was putting out they were owning that market and they were doing a fantastic job for what me, was the turning point what was the turning point well the turning point I think, started i think with, a killing a killing joke for me that, that, that uh, was for me i would say it started uh, earlier i can't pro, uh, i can't like really pinpoint one. it but 
I remember the animation changing, and it became oh, more of the Japanese Batman. style. Yeah, uh, okay. and yeah, I can't yeah. do that. I grew <laughs> up on Batman style. was weird. I grew up on Bruce. <laughs> Bruce's animation yeah. style, mm-hmm. and Warner Brothers actually has somewhat kind of came back to that in a in, in a way. Um, they they seem to be making that change back over, and and I think the animation right now looks pretty good. It's not not that extreme um, as it was going to the <coughs> animation of of you know with the big eyes, the big you know yeah, uh, yeah, expressions yeah. on the face, and they would uh, very cartoonish. Um, mm-hmm. Um, I like I like the the square draw of of Bruce's. Yeah, the Bruce and, Tim. You like uh, you like D. animated series. You want an animated yeah, yeah. series. Well, yeah, that's what I grew up on. But I understand things have to change and 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 whatnot. And they are kind of going back to that. I don't know if anyone else. I like really the the just the the Young Justice of uh, uh, Bruce Greenwood uh, chin. It was kind of a, a a change. It was it was well, similar to the yeah. one, the old one, but it still kind of gave him a little bit more yeah. features. The animation is only half of it, you know, and yeah. and they they're coming back to it. But as they come back to it, the 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 writing has just gotten so fucking terrible. I mean, we don't have to beat a dead horse because we've yeah. talked about certain sex scenes and and you know like Ugh. the one with Harley and Nightwing and 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 I just turned it off. I just turned it off. <laughs> Yeah. The Batman, the Batman, um, uh, Batgirl one is probably the. That the, was the point yeah. where I was like, yeah. okay, that, I can't even. There's nothing I have to defend this. Yeah. No, <laughs> this no. is bad. Completely not even the book. There's nothing. I sent you the guys a link of the Iron Fist outfit. The uh, skip the the one that says Google. Well, and so on top of that, I mean, we 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 hated it, but we didn't uh, <laughs> we didn't threaten to kill anybody like. Uh, uh, what's his name? Tom King that did uh, uh, Batman number fifty with the wedding mm. to. Um, I heard yeah. that was a fucking bait and switch too. They fucked sure, that they, up. Well, yeah, they got yeah, yeah. Batman yeah. and Selena got uh, married and then they spoiler alert split up right after. But yeah, it happened away. quick. Well, yeah. They never got married. She never fucking showed up to the wedding. Well, yeah, they, they split <laughs> up. So they, well, she said that he needs to be evil or he needs not to be happy to be Batman. Who's writing for Batman now? It's not it's not Sky Snyder anymore, is it? I can't remember. Well, that was this Tom, is a Dan that Clark was Tom question. King. Tom King. That was King. Yeah, that was Tom King. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. I, yeah, didn't I gave up after after Snyder left. I was you know, like, I, yep, I, I'm good. I don't, you don't listen. <laughs> and you could be the greatest writer in the world, but when you're doing a, a comic book with Batman getting married in his you know costume and whatnot to Catwoman, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how oh, do you I mean, go? To, I mean, I heard somebody go. How do you go to Batman the courthouse? Batman also betted Talia al Ghul with his mask on. It's like yeah, fetish. Yeah. Did he? Well, he did. <laughs> I missed that one. He did. <laughs> he did. They did anal. Remember? It, 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 yeah, it was. They used lots of. They pulled. They, lots of they pulled the curtain. They pulled the curtain down after Batman. He's like, well, I'm gonna keep my mask. Batman would. You. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the, the thing. The thing that never got. You know. All right, we got off on a little tangent here. Um, <laughs> with Batman. There, there's a reason why Batman's Batman, yeah. and something happened. I can't really put my finger on what Barry happened to a young Bruce a Wayne. <laughs> Barry something Barry happened in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it was? I think so because yeah. I really wish you would remind people that Justin. Because every time I see, I hear somebody go, "Why is it bad? Why can't Batman just use guns? What's the problem?" Because that was the instrument that was used to murder his fucking parents in front of him, which set him on a yeah. fucking in no, I agree. I, the listen, fucking Batman. The, that's why he was the Batmobile that. shouldn't have fucking machine guns. Well, that's Tim Burton into, into, into the opening, but Batman yeah, 89 Tim Burton does care. Kill Unless you're firing people. rubber bullets. Tim Burton <laughs> don't care. But but I, love that, that, I love that. Right I love that Batman. I do love that Batman, but he doesn't I like that murdery Batman. He doesn't take out a gun Nolan, and shoot somebody. The only person the car killed people, not him. Admittedly, hate. He not hates comic books, but doesn't give a shit about comic books. Christopher Nolan understands the role of Batman more than the fucking Well, and that's what I'm getting at. So, you know, Batman made a commitment to his parents' grave. And he made this commitment. And because of this commitment, he can't really get married. It just doesn't work. He, He's he married falls to in street. love many times. Yeah. But oh, as yeah. we know, it can't work out. That is He's Captain Kirk, man. He the can't one just... thing he wants, he just can't have because of his commitment. So to to have a comic book 
where he gets married. <laughs> I forget the comic book where Bruce Wayne gets married, but he does it to uh it's because of the storyline he, he does it he doesn't get married just for the wind of it because he wants to get married he does it's it very, because he has to it's, a, it's part yeah. of it's part of him part being of a detective and he needs to get yeah. certain information and whatnot that's right. okay but i don't know why we're doing batman this isn't this isn't fucking barbie <laughs> and ken getting married <laughs> This is fucking I Batman. Like but these, Batman this, is for the, Batman. this is for the new comic book readers. These are these are people who are just getting into well, the comics. You know what? They got to grow some fucking balls and understand years. something. Certain people well, can get pussy like, fucking around Superman. here, guys. Everyone's so goddamn sensitive. There, there yeah. was that issue. Did you read that issue where it was the double date between Batman and uh, Selina and Lois and Superman? That issue was pretty good. I don't know if you read that, but that was pretty cool. It was, like a double but a, it was a one-off though it was like one was it a one-off one off playing... where it was like hey let's do something silly let's not make the a fucking complete silly. arc around something the whole thing's silly the fact that he's in a <laughs> cow on costume yeah that too he dresses up that's oh my god all right we're, let's let's move on because... <laughs> did you see I'm the link i sent you guys a link i sent you guys a link on the costume so you know I'm what very upset about. right now and i don't like it get a little yeah. pissed over here <laughs> so let's let's go into Ugh. Let's go into trailers real quick. Have you guys seen all the trailers? I've seen all of them. All right, all of them. Let's start. How many off trailers with... were? I've seen most of them. Oh, you've seen most of them. There was many. No, well, there was a few. Let's start off with I, the glass. I didn't really Did watch the glass ones. Did you see the glass I trailer? A few. I watched a few. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, that was that was that was that was fine. I'm I excited. Liked it. I'm excited. That was that. fine. That was fine. I I, I don't I, like. I there's never, one thing I don't I, like I don't about. Have it. High expectations for anything. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm into it, man. The lighting looked on point. Uh, yeah, yeah, certain yeah, shots acting, looked on point. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah, I, I like the fact that there was McAvoy. one thing I didn't like. The fact that they're what, did you, what did you like? They stole from us. What they steal? They stole the three of us sitting down. Oh yeah. The black oh, yeah. guys on the left. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah it's the guy true. with the multiple personalities. Hey, in the hey, middle. hey, Shyamalan, ding dong. Call a lawyer. Call a lawyer. <laughs> I think we should Why are you still in our Get Why Shlomo you... Leibovitz on the phone We're here. We're in a fucking pink room, too. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? Well, maybe I guess Shyamalan frequents our website. Well, I know. I met him once. and mm. Oh, yeah. You told me he's from well. Philly. Think... That's, a Philly, that's a Philly boy. <laughs> did I tell you that story? You did tell me that story. Yeah, I told you that story. I, I'll, I'll save it maybe for another day. But we met each other in Philly in an elevator. People who don't know, Shyamalan during... films all his films in Pennsylvania because he's yeah. from Pennsylvania. Um, yeah. during, during Lady in the Water, and I asked him about that. And <laughs> I, I don't know. About it? We didn't really say goodbye to each other after. <laughs> well, how did the conversation go? Uh, well, I got in the elevator and and, and I, I smirked and I said, hey, Lady in the Water? How about that, huh? <laughs> and he looked at me and he rolled his eyes and I was like, what, what, what were you thinking? with that and then he goes into this whole tangent about how like it was his uh, story that he told his kids or something and mm-hmm. um at night daddy's was, a famous was, writer who's gonna save the world yeah he yeah. thought that was a good story movie those to kids spend Jesus. a shit ton of money on and uh we, we it and was pretty much he, just a, a bickering back and forth i was being an asshole like i usually am and then he wrote and then he wrote and produced devil because he was like i'm gonna write a fucking movie about this. <laughs> You're well, the I've fucking. You know, fucking I never really. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. We I never put two and two together. That? You never That's put two and two together. The fucking code. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Slow down. Yeah. And Just I met him. I met him with M. Night Shyamalan, giving him shit about Lady in the Water. I met him Years at a later. casting at a casting agency <laughs> because I took a summer course Matt broke in Matt broke filmmaking it. there, <laughs> and um. <laughs> somebody wanted to do a headshot that day they saw me and they go we would like a headshot of you and i had to do a monologue and i did the last line in american psycho oh, so <laughs> of course. which they responded that was interesting why'd you pick that because it's the greatest fucking movie because ever. it's a great it's a great it's a great little monologue and it's easy hey, to mom. memorize that's why i can't memorize <laughs> shit like that and some, I was talking to the one guy, and then I got in the elevator, and there he was, and that's how that started. Oh my god! But wait, <laughs> Matt, Matt, this broke. The, Matt, this fucking yeah. show up home. This whole situation, okay? <laughs> Finally, fucking M Nights in the elevator with you. You're being a dick. 
Years later, he's like, he probably well, walked out of the elevator. He's like, God, that guy's like the devil. You know what? <laughs> Wait! I'm gonna make a movie about a fucking asshole in an elevator. So there's a strong possibility, given with what <laughs> like you guys that, are putting like together, like he's been following me, <laughs> and that joke I, I was making about the life. seats yep. is a reference to us yeah, and maybe us. a warning. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you get any weird plants in the mail? <laughs> uh, yeah. Any strange plants? <laughs> but my 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 cactus outside has mysteriously uh, got cut off. <laughs> Have you been oh. told to visit your grandparents that aren't your grandparents? <laughs> Spoiler alert for the visit. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> he didn't direct that, did he? It's all he coming together. Produced yeah, that. That was, yeah, he directed that. He did he, direct he, that. Okay. No, he, he produced he, the he, devil, he, though. Or he, devil, devil, excuse me. He produced he, Devil. He produced Fresh. Devil. I think wrote it. I think. Yeah, I, I believe. Part, sorry, right. he co-wrote it or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. But it was a good <laughs> special. Special thanks to that cocksucker. That in the cocksucker elevator. Pelosi that's in the fucking elevator. Give me shit about a fucking movie. Yeah, I, should, I told I my should, I should drop off some videotapes. See if there's any. Um, oh God, I get. Here. You know who's in that movie? Logan. Uh, the fuck is his name? Paul Fake Logan. Tom Hardy. What the fuck is his name? The guy from Upgrade. Logan, um, Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Is his name Logan? No, 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 not Logan Paul. Fuck that guy. Logan Paul, uh, Green. The guy that looks yeah. like Tom Hardy. Tom the Harley? guy that looks like Tom Hardy. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's in it. Yeah, you're Logan. Uh, you're that guy. You're that fucking. Hey, dude. you're Logan Marshall Green. You're the mechanic. <laughs> you're the fucking. Mechanic. You know, I never really watched it. I saw it on TV. It was like at the end. Um, I bet you he copied your look at the time. I guarantee you, this is how this shit happened. This is not fucking law in my brain. I'm telling everybody, my boy is the reason there's a movie we called made Devil. It true. <laughs> yep, made huh. it happen. And I, anybody I, wants I to argue that. with us? Fuck them. Fuck I, you. <laughs> I can't click the button anymore. I'm, I'm glad not, I brought I'm, that I'm up like... because <laughs> I. It was always a funny story. I I, I always just thought it was. You funny. didn't even put, this whole time. You didn't realize no. the, the movie for the Devil came up. You didn't even think, think about that. it. I didn't think yeah. I, I didn't think it was. I mean, I wasn't really a dick in the beginning, and then he kind of oh. gave me such bitchy looking. The devil faces. is sneaky, like, I, Justin. I got more devil dicky. is sneaky. Yeah, yeah, so does the know. devil. The devil always gets more dickier dicky. and dickier and dickier and dickier. He, was, he wanted to call the movie Dick, but he couldn't because there was already a dick with uh, Dom Hadea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the trailer for Glass looked great. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved everything, uh, everything about it except, for, like, it was my third favorite trailer of Comic Con. Um, I, 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 I We'll get to number one later. But uh, the Medium Rhapsody, did you guys see that one? I did see the trailer for that. Look good, and, there's, an, there's another trailer on top of the one. You know who stars in that? I know. The star of Mr. Fucking he's Robot. He's, he's, quirky. he's a quirky guy. He's, he's a quirky he's little dude. And they're but trying to hide perfect. the Mike Myers. Cam- they should have kept that Mike Myers cameo secret. So we would all get the joke in the movie. But they've kind of revealed it twice now that Mike Mike Myers, who made his career off of fucking Bohemian Rhapsody and Wayne's Can World. Can I be honest with you? Shitting on Bohemian Rhapsody mm-hmm. and Wayne's World. <laughs> I didn't know that until you just brought that up. You know that was Mike Myers? No. <laughs> He's the one that says, uh, yeah, we can't fucking play Bohemian Rhapsody, which that's the joke because uh, yeah, yeah. Mike Myers I get it. I get is famous. It. I get it. <laughs> yeah, they showed it twice. The first trailer, he's the same fucking guy. They should have oh. never shown that part. That's pretty cool. I love a good meta joke like that. Yeah. It was a good and trailer. Bryce, it, it looks. Brian Singer still getting credit to direct that movie, by the way. Yeah, he's not, he is. He's not giving it to the other guy, the guy from uh, Layer Cake. Um, <sighs> fuck, I forget Layer his name. Cake. The guy who directed uh, the, the guy who directed Eddie the Eagle. I forget his yeah. name. Oh, he's he took over yeah. for Singer after Singer got fired, but they're still really? giving him credit. I, I really guess they're just giving him credit so you wouldn't get a lawsuit or whatever. But yeah, no, it. it God, I'm gonna I'm gonna look good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I, I love think it'll be good. Uh, yeah. K- kids, if you don't know, uh, AIDS. Freddie Mercury. If it's not AIDS, if, is, if, bad. If AIDS is bad, but <laughs> but Freddie Mercury probably Fuck top AIDS. three, top at the lowest top five greatest Fuck fucking AIDS live singers of all time. <laughs> I mean, it's like Michael Jackson. There's Prince. Freddie Mercury's right fucking there. Like if you ever watch the Band Aid uh, performance where it's like that, does that last shot of the trailer where it goes over the crowd? It's fucking. Just watch it it's on YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. It's, it's kind of chilly. Just, just listen to some fucking uh, goddamn Queen right now. Yeah, let's turn on some fucking fantastic. Fantastic. Stop Gordon. listening to us and listen to some fucking Queen. <laughs> watch, get some Highlander soundtrack in your life. <laughs> yeah. get, get some of that shit. God, oh yeah. Here's the soundtrack for Flash Gordon and Highlander. We're yeah, talking about this guy who was fucking badass. Jeez. Born to be king. Yeah, man. But yeah, that, that was the whole thing about, I was worried about the Queen movie because they the, the, the band didn't want them to they wanted to kill off freddie originally in the middle of the movie 
Yeah. And make oh, it more about it's concentrating. Nah. Yeah. Sorry, Freddie Mercury is kind of the star of the well, whole the thing. Star. That's but what the, it is. Uh, nobody gives a fuck about the rest of the band. <laughs> like Brian, uh, Brian May, and everyone of the yeah. band is is highly uh, involved within the film. So, right. Um, that's 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 how you that's, get the music. You can't. Yeah. You got to do it to get well, the music right. Yeah. It's but you get a lot of behind it. the fact that a lot of those guys, you know, are still around and they can, you know, structure the story and, and explain things that we would never know. I mean it's it's like if you know uh, a band that's it's mostly passed away and they did a story about it it's hard because it's a lot of guessing and a lot of uh, hearsay um but with mm-hmm. something like that they can there's probably lines in there that no one knew about but only them and we get to kind of see that um plus it looks great i mean it's got a great actor on it it looks pretty it epic looks, it looks, it looks like, like he took over that role I'm gonna uh, go I, to I think DJ's second favorite trailer. Ooh, see if I can let's guess see this second favorite. Let's see if you can guess my second favorite trailer. This is really Aquaman. good. I, I, wow, he did yeah. guess it. He guessed it. He I'm gonna guess it. Second Aquaman. favorite trailer was Aquaman. Aquaman caught me off guard, folks. Yeah, I, 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 I was cut off guard. Did you see that, Matt? Yeah, I saw. I I, I loved how uh, Ariel from The Little Mermaids in the movie. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. I think everybody keeps saying she looks exactly like fucking Come Ariel. You, you, when you were younger, you wanted the fucker on Godly. Oh, come on, it's Ariel. I, I still do. What are you talking about? Yeah, of course. Are you she still? Looks good. You know I'm going to tell you who looks, you know what's I, funny? You looks good. Compare that with Justice League because yeah. of the minor role that she has in, in Justice League. But yeah, put horrible. side yeah, right. by side. Put those screen captures side by Two side. Two different fucking people. Oh, my God. The <laughs> it's hair. like night literally and day, literally. Because she's known with <laughs> oh, that yeah. hair. In Justice yeah. League, it looks like she's a brunette almost. It, it's yeah, her, yeah. You know, like you can't even. They tell didn't make her hair pop dark. underwater. They should have her, no. her hair pop. So, the well, colors in this trailer. It's, Tom, it's it's a great cinematographer oh, in this movie. Great Tom Burgess. Bur- the CG. Bur- uh, let me just say this. The CG it's still a work in progress. Wasn't bad, right? It's a work right. in progress, and a lot of trailers that come out, uh, uh, like Fast and the Furious, when they do those trailers that come out before mm-hmm. the movie. A lot of that stuff gets changed because it's it's a work in progress, and and the shot isn't necessarily completed, um, and they're just using a draft real quick to kind of put that in. A lot of things do change over whoa, but given the fact that it's actually coming out soon, it's coming out in December, which this is one of the um, <clears throat> smallest gaps between trailer and uh, release date that uh, Warner Brothers has put out. I believe Justice League was some crazy like 16 months yeah. prior to the movie <laughs> yeah. coming out. Well, when was Dark Knight? Wasn't Dark Knight fucking forever? Oh no, it was a Batman Begins. One of those well, Batman was, uh, Batman oh, Begins was like teased. It was a, a tease. There was a tease. Right? But that was understandable because of the mess that Batman was in prior to that and the right, gap right, of right. years that there were. This was, hey guys, look at what we're working on. That's okay. When mm-hmm. you have something like Justice League, we already had Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. Right. We already get the gist of everything, and of course, we were scared. And I think that's kind of why they released it a little earlier um, than normal Sweet. trailers are released. Um, yeah. But this uh, trailer was exciting. It was fantastic. You know um, when it won me over? You know when it won CG me over? The CG wasn't bad looking. Is what I kind of wanted to see. Some shots were a little rough, but not as rough. As even Justice, Justice League, the Jesus. final we've seen, we've seen fuck. Yeah, composite of or Justice Suicide League. Suicide Squad or anything. But what are you going to say, uh, DJ? Yeah. Uh, you, you know when the trailer won me over? When I was like, okay, they seem to have got a different tone here. It was the shot where I'm, I'm assuming it's Ocean Master played yeah. by Patrick Wilson and uh, Jason yeah. Momoa fighting underwater. And the shock wave hits the crowd and they freeze for a second and they go, yeah! yeah! That's why I was like, oh, wow, this yeah. feels well, They're going to have fun with it. They <laughs> yeah, learn. Yeah, this is going to be fun. One of, my, one of my favorite Marvel films that have come out was, was the last Thor movie. That was a right. fun, fun fucking man. movie. Yeah, it's crazy. And I enjoy it, and I, it. I probably have watched it a couple times since. Ragnarok is great. Yeah. It's, it's cool. great because it knows what it is, and it has fun yeah. with it. And it's, a, it's overall a good package well, film. Well, just the fact. I mean, Aquaman's a, kind of a goofy character. It's a guy yeah. who talks. It was always a joke. Shit. It was always a joke. It's a goofball. He's, he's Na- Namor was always the serious guy. Oh, I'm serious, Namor. Knock him like, oh, I'm talking to his teacher, man. Hey, man. Like, <laughs> what, what the fuck is that? A hip, hippie Aquaman? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I man. mean, 
<laughs> and, and, and I like the way Momo is doing it. Momo is not really taking it that serious. He's like, hey, man, I'm fucking big, swole, fucking, I fuck chicks underwater. He's going to have fun with it. He's having fun with it. Hey, redheads, yeah. you know? Yeah, redhead. Redheads. Well, yeah, I, I think that uh, it, it, the one thing I really like, and I was talking and about. And I like seeing like, Black Mana too. So Black Mana looks fucking way better than he's supposed to look. It looks fun. Black like, I'm like, like yeah. Yeah. But in this, I'm like, yeah. fuck. I fucking I've always, I always said that. Yeah, that looked. <laughs> I love the look of that. In, oh, in this. It's got, and, it's, it, it reminded me some why, for some reason, it reminded me of Vader. He looks so fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, well, the red <laughs> eyes, too. Yeah, yeah I, man. I'm really very eyes. interested in what, what Keep him around. Keep things. Black, do yeah. not kill Keep him Keep Black off. Mana around, please. Yeah, well, they're going to... Get rid of Ocean Master. Keep Black Mana around. Yeah. 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 Um, he's, my understanding is if, if this goes well, he'll be, he'll be the, the prime in the second film. Because he, um, I mean, it, you, when you... It, when you're DC, you want to keep around dynamic looking things. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to keep around characters that are just the, that which the Marvel gets shit on all the time. It's just the same character, but the bad version, like Iron Monger or Yellow Jacket. Black Mana is completely different yeah. than Aquaman. He looks nothing like Ocean Aquaman. Master is essentially Aquaman, this yeah. evil Aquaman. Yeah. You have a dynamic difference between yeah. Aquaman and Black Mana, and you can do stuff with but, that. And he's desi his design is so cool looking. And, yeah. Yeah. Right. And it's refreshing. The refreshing thing about this was it didn't end. I mean, you know, look at Dawn of Just Dawn of fucking uh, Justice and Justice League. You know, they ended on these big battles, and it doesn't look like we're gonna have this big battle intimate, with a monster, fight. which yeah. is we're gonna have refreshing. Atlanteans against each other. Or and I like think that. this yeah. is a good turnaround, and they should continue. This does lead to, you know, the Matt was saying it early. Um, the biggest problem was was Zack Snyder. And honestly, yeah. if you look at the, the films so far that have come out and you put to the side, to the left there, you put all Zack Snyder's films and then to the right, the ones that he hasn't done so far. And yeah. Wonder Woman was fantastic. It was great. And looking at this trailer, I feel like we're on the same level as Wonder Woman. And, we're, and part two, a, a Wonder Woman 84, yeah. that's going to keep the dynamic colorful dc going because yeah. you're in the 80s yeah and it's yes. great so you can still be a little goofy with it too you can be kind of silly and fun with it as well yeah. too yeah and, and i love that love... five years ago when they were like uh whoever the guy from dc at the time was like well we're the dark version of everything yeah everything seems like it's a fucking lighting up really fucking quick i mean it's like the, just, that, just that's what was weird when you had wonder woman then you had justice league which felt like it didn't know if it wanted to go light it didn't know if it wanted to go yeah. dark or wonder woman was light yeah. But look at look at the even the branding, which I really like of Aquaman. The white screen with the the, the crystal yeah, it was clean. Aquaman. It, was nice. it looks like wow, this it looks dark. Fun. I don't feel like I'm going to fucking get like a lecture. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not going to beat over the head with. <laughs> yeah, I, I I enjoyed it. It was. It was... I, I had fun watching that trailer. I was very pleased with that trailer. I, well, I, it, it it's a good sign of things to come. I think. Hmm. On the flip side, a trailer that I watched, <laughs> and I said, well, oh, DJ's not going to like this, was uh -huh. Shazam! Shazam! They, they, Which I, okay. wasn't I'm as a... bad as I thought it was going to be. Right, right. But right, right, don't right. get cocky, Warner Brothers. You're going to confuse yeah. people. Slow. And don't... Yeah, don't make everything goofy and silly now. Yeah. Like, I was I was getting worried a lot because time. all the official photos that came out, there was something in his mouth. There was like an oral fetish, bubble gum, <laughs> slurpees, cock. Yeah. You know, it was weird. <laughs> I like cock snuck into the Shazam film, but it I'm wasn't that bad. But when I watched it, I was like, Ah, DJ's not gonna like this. <laughs> okay, I'm watching this trailer, right? I, I popped this on because I I, I, the, I watched this trailer drunk, drunk last night. I still didn't enjoy it. I watched. I had to watch. I watched Glass, and then I watched Aquaman, and then I watched another trailer that will remain nameless until we get to talk about it. And then I watched this, and I'm like, okay, it starts all right because it has the kid from It in there, and he's great. Yeah. That whoever that kid, child actor is, he's awesome. I wish he was really Ben, right? Good. Ben Hanscom, the the bigger kid. Not the bit. The bigger kid's okay, but the young kid who I think is going to be carrying most of the the kid stuff in this movie because he's is when he's just damn he's gonna be like Zachary Levi running around whatever. He's great. And the dynamic he has with the, the, the Billy Batson character I thought was fun. I I I could watch that movie though he's wearing an Aquaman shirt. I, I don't know if anybody caught that. 
uh, I don't know how the fuck they have Aquaman <laughs> team men- uh, memorabilia. <laughs> I guess they forgot to change his clothes. Uh, I mean, what, uh, whatever. Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> but when Zachary Levi shows up in this Conan O'Brien San Diego Comic Con suit that I guess he just said, I'm not going to work out for this. I guess. I don't. It, that, it, <sighs> it just doesn't. Something about the design of that suit doesn't work for me. <laughs> it doesn't, it, it's, it, it, I mean, I feel like I'm watching. I'm, when Henry like I'm Cavill watching puts Kazam, on the Superman, I'm not watching Henry, Kazam. I'm watching Kazam. When when Henry Cavill puts on the Superman suit, I buy it because Henry Cavill's big as fuck. <laughs> okay, he's a big muscular dude. All right. Yes. They so, put so this fucking Bruce. Michel. Yeah, or or yeah. Ben Affleck. He's a big Ben Affleck. Like six I didn't five. Want to he's a big hand. dude. <laughs> he's Sorry. a big guy. Big guy. Zachary Levi, who I thought was going to work out for this role, I guess I said, don't do it. We're going to go with the cartoony thing where you're wearing like the fucking yeah, A really goofy suit. suit. He looks like the tick. <laughs> he looks like the fucking tick. He looks like the fucking tick. He looks like Peter Serafinowicz in a fucking puffy suit. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And I'm like, he, I, I don't know. I've, I've been looking at Zach, Zach Levi right now. He, he's kind of big, but he's not as big as the suit makes him fucking look. I'd rather it be form-fitting than him running around with a suit that's clearly... Like somebody, uh, you know those cartoons when they, they they blow into their thumb and then they, their hand yeah. gets bigger. It's a fucking Halloween <laughs> costume. Well, it, it, how much? It's like a Comic Con costume. That's exactly. It looks like yeah, a Comic Con costume. He's cosplaying. It does. It does. <laughs> I mean, for me, uh, you know, when when the Billy Bats came up anywhere, when Cap. No, oh, I'm sorry, Shazam. Um, <laughs> almost made that slip. Don't make a mistake. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, somebody <laughs> will get angry with me. Um, yeah. I never really cared that much for the character to begin with. Um, do you guys, are you excited to see this? Or is this something that uh, uh, you could do without really right now? I don't care yeah. about Shazam. If, if yeah, The Rock was involved, You're if Black Adam was involved, involved I would care maybe a little bit more. But I don't really care. I like Mark Strong. I don't know who he's going to play, but I like Mark Strong. Should be still playing Sinestro if it was up to fucking me. Because he was not the problem with that fucking yeah. Green Lantern movie. No, he's exactly. the only perfect thing about that movie. Mark that Sh- movie, he's perfect Sinestro. But I, I guess he's playing Dr... Doctor Dr. Bad Guy. I don't yeah, know. Dr. I, I don't know. Dr. Savannah. Savannah? Generic Bad Guy. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Generic Bad Guy. Who Doctor, I have a scar on my face and right. look like Dr. No. I no. think the point of this movie, which they say it's 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 big with superpowers, it feels like it's more big elf and uh, uh, whatchamacallit with superpowers. Um, what's the other one? with uh, Home Alone. It's very... Christmassy jiggle all the way, excuse me. That's what it felt oh, like. He looks oh, like he, fucking, he looks uh, like oh the opposite character? Uh, uh Turbo, Man. Turbo, Turbo Man. Turbo Man. He looks like fucking Turbo Man <laughs> running around. So it's Turbo time. It might be too goofy to fit in this. I, I was listening to uh, Brad Jones uh, was talking about this and he said it's like this happens in the same universe where a 9-11, a 9/11 type event has occurred, like real literally like <laughs> three years ago. It doesn't feel like it's in the same universe. But I mean yeah. I, some people like it because it's supposed to be a course shift, but I don't know. I'm, I I I could take or leave this movie. This is being made for a very. This is their Ant Man. I don't give a shit yeah. about it. I don't yeah, care what. Like, happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, well, I, mean, I know what your I favorite like trailer kid. was. What is my favorite trailer, Justin? Godzilla. Yes. Gojira. Yes. All right. Gojira. 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 Of all the trailers that I watched this Ooh. week, I watched a shit. I watched so many fucking trailers. Jesus good. Christ. I it got yeah, grabbed me emotionally right, right by the plum, right by the get that one too. Right? By the plums, it. by the plums. It's got me right by I, the plump, the plump part of my damn. Plum. I'm excited. The joy, the joyful Godzilla. Music, the fuck, they're using the Ocean's Eleven music, the fountain scene with this fucking destru- the beautiful destruction, yeah. the fucking Mothra flapping in the wings. You know what this movie King did? Gujira. King it, King it, it, it I love how you say that's the ocean of. It's the Ocean's Eleven. Music. Yeah, <laughs> that song Sorry, came out in like, fuck, like fuck, early not, not, 1400s. Not, 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 yeah. It's the Ocean's Eleven music. Everybody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. They're all by the fountain. It's the fucking Ocean's Eleven music. Yeah, it's but, like, uh, fuck yeah. Tchaikovsky. It, what this move, what this trailer did, and it, uh, it seemed to recapture the awe that Jurassic Park fucking lost for me. Where you know it's like, <laughs> yeah, you got Rodan flapping its wings. You got the fucking yeah. the size and scope of fucking Godzilla. That roar that never gets old. That just goes on for fucking ever from Godzilla. The stuff, all that scale. Do you have an erection? Because I have an erection. It, it's pretty. I mean, and it looks so. I mean, and the effects aren't even done. And the effects look fucking great. Yeah. That Mothra shot. Never really seen much of anything yet. 
That monster shot's a yeah. screensaver. That shit is like I would have that as a fucking wallpaper. Is that this this her coming out of the, the ice, just flapping her wings and the slowness? You got fucking Charles Dance in there, just fucking doing fucking Tywin Lannister yeah. shit. It's, it's fucking all what awesome. He, and what does he say? The darkness rises. <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> I thought that's what he said. What did he say? No, yeah. no, he said, all hail the king. Yes, the moth rises. <laughs> hail the king is what he said, which, which is great. Oh, okay. I, I but the, 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 yeah, the, the, the hail the king. It's like hail to the king or whatever. The, the joy, the joy the king, for, baby. Jo- <laughs> that's a different character. Uh, that's Bubba Hotep. Uh, no, the, uh, the the joyful Ocean's Eleven music juxtaposed with the chaos and destruction. Yeah, that shit just after I was watching, I was like, whoa. And no other trailer made me go, whoa. This yeah. this Comic Con. That was the one I was like, fuck. When you watch a trailer <laughs> a second time, right after the first time, I watched it like five times, man. Time. I watched it like. Yeah, it's a great. It's a good sign. I, I, it's a good sign. You're interested. I had to back up. If it's in it, little little things in it. I wanted to watch that when that Mothra shot happened. I was like, "What the?" F-? And at the back, I was like, "Holy shit, that's Mothra!" Then I saw Rodan on the yeah. fucking volcano. I was like, "Fuck, this is dope." Then you got uh, is it the three headed one? Is it King G- Gudera? Gudera. Holy shit, coming out of the smoke. That, that was the money shot for me. That made me go. <laughs> that, that was like pulling his dick. I'm like, holy shit! Like, I got a three headed dick. Rub those nipples. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the 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 way they ended the, the way they this trailer put together is so well done. Just because it ends on an extended Godzilla roar, and I don't I put that on I put that on the list. That fucking roar is fucking so bad. He, say, he stumps his toe and screams. Fucking screams, yeah. and the fucking plane starts bugging out like, oh shit, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> it was so that trailer punched me in the dick. Where I was just like, it looks good. It was good, man. And, it was and they gave the movie to fucking Michael Doherty, who I like a lot. So. Who, yeah, just tell me who this Michael Doherty guy is, because I, I wasn't aware. Trick or treat. Trick, oh, oh, never mind. They got match money. <laughs> got this fucking money. But only, my only hesitance is that the for me the first Godzilla trailer for the the one with Garrett Evans or Edwards. Yeah, Evans is a great Gareth guy. Edwards, Gareth, Gareth Edwards. Edwards. Hit, that trailer for the first one was really good too. Because that's the one with fucking Cranston going, it wasn't a hurricane. It wasn't a, that, that shit was really I, good I too. Did, I didn't like that though, because it's so goofy. It was so over the top. And you didn't like Cranston really. going, it wasn't a typhoon. He's, like, He's coming for us right now, whatever coming the fuck he says. I love yeah. that shit. It, fuck it, up, it, was, it was good, but I, I, it, there wasn't, a, I didn't. It wasn't it was big as this. This was, it wasn't yeah. a big Godzilla Wait, movie. I this thought. is scope. This yeah. is like, this is what we want to see. This is what we want with, to with a title called King of yeah, the this, Monsters. Yeah, this so is you're gonna you fight all the through. monsters. He's gonna yeah, do it's gonna be great. Want. It's gonna be fantastic. I, I have I have a lot, even show up at the end of it. lot to say about it, but I forget because I keep thinking that what you guys said about Devil and me and the elevator. <laughs> that you're the fucking. <laughs> you're the fucking <laughs> I gotta watch it now. <laughs> we gotta do a commentary on Devil. And we're gonna yeah. watch that Logan Marshall Green is fucking. This is the exact moment. You know what I was thinking about putting on the wheel. Oh God! Devils three. Ooh, is that the one where he goes to Hawaii? Yeah, Jamaica or whatever. With Michael Caine. That was part four. No, Michael. Oh, that was four. Michael. That was the revenge. Was the revenge? Yeah. Yeah. Three D. Three. Well, we did. We did three D. Friday. Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we might do that during the summer. I'll put that on the wheel. See if we. Yeah. Put on the wheel. Put on the wheel. Put Devil on the fucking wheel. I want to. I meant to do some fucking research myself. I don't even fucking remember that movie. I mean, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Can I correct myself? I said DJ's favorite. Was Godzilla? It wasn't. Yeah, um, it was. It wasn't. It was the. Let's see. The headlines say sites keep saying not to judge Titans. <laughs> hey, you know Justin, hey Justin. Hey like Justin. Fuck Batman. You like that trailer? <laughs> I like. I loved hearing you say. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, stop the show. Stop you the show. Like stop, stop the show. Stop you the like fucking the show. structure. What the fuck are you saying? What are you saying right now? What are you saying right now? I think it looks kind of sort of entertaining. Really? Are you joking yeah. with us? Are you are you yeah. fucking with me right now? No, are you fucking, fucking with me? He's fucking. You're fucking, no, you're no, fucking with me. No, it's, you're it's, it's with it, me. no, 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 no. It kind of when he said "fuck Batman," I was like, hmm, interesting. That's the only. You were thing like I, interesting. You know what we were doing? That's the when only you were thing interesting. interesting. I rolled my we're, eyes, but <laughs> I, thought, I was <laughs> spitting on the screen. <laughs> really? I, you know, even even the the. Wow, I'm a little surprised. Well, I mean, wait, wait, wait. that's your opinion, here, but here, here, it looked like a TV here. movie. Like the lighting was terrible, and no, it looked no, so it looks, cheap. No, it looks it looks very bad. But it, it looks horrible. Okay, okay, it's, okay, okay. It's a TV show, right? It's not a movie, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it's, yeah, a t- it's, it's a TV. It's a TV show on the streaming platform. Does this out? Yeah, does weird? Does but this wait, we make just, you we want to pay to watch? No, we were just. But we were just talking about 
Aquaman, how it looks fun and adventurous while still having badass moments. What the? This is the. This is a, a step backwards. You this is one step well, forward. This is like the antithesis. This, this, this is like the antithesis of like Flash and Arrow. It's like, hey, hey, you have your goofy shit on CW. No, 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 no. I guess no, we're no, gonna no. try Here's and make the difference. Like, Here's, the difference. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Titans, Teen Titans, yeah, aren't supposed to be gritty. I'm I don't a, know, I don't man. Know Judas contract Spider Man movie where Spider Man's drinking blood and firing guns off, and because that's not fucking Spider Man. That's, that's, that's the biggest. I, I don't know, but Teen Titans have had some dark arcs. Not, not, not where Robin is pulling guns and Titans. shooting people in the face. That's Teen Titans. Titan. I mean, it's I all the same fucking characters from Teen Titans. Yeah, no, but let me... no. There's never been a time where there was Robin murdering four people in a fucking alley yeah. and going. Fuck back. Know. Is there is there something is there something on that soundboard that you want to? I, I I have no control of it. Give, please pull it. Pull, give why, me why don't you give me the soundboard? <laughs> give Mac the soundboard. <laughs> Did you give up control? I gave up control for a second. I was trying to get the Iron Fist uh, picture. Oh, uh, you gave up control. I'll, I'll take the soundboard. You want the Here. soundboard? Yeah, give no, it to me. Soundboard. Give me the soundboard. Yo, okay. You have to wait. This is um, the same shit. Well, this is the Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man give, shit give all over again. Where we're like, oh, I gotta, well, on, I gotta bring it up on the other monitor. I got, I got two, I got two monitors. I gotta change the input. <laughs> it's a different computer. Um, but as but I, I may, do remember, that, remember Amazing Spider-Man? Was it, where... was it only the fuck, was it only the fuck Batman thing that got your? Go? No, it was the mass murder. It was the fuck Batman. It was the fact that Raven is not sardonic anymore. She's now a doughy-eyed. Help me, Robin! I need some help. That shit was, which is completely not Raven. It was the fact that fucking Starfire looks like a streetwalker. It was the fact that Beast Boy has now got green hair instead of green skin because we can't go that far. We gotta, you know, we gotta make sure he's grounded in reality because we Even though it's the fucking Teen Titans for Christ's sake. Then you got fucking Hawk and Dove viciously eviscerating people. Like, what the fuck am I watching? This is a fucking- You hear that, DJ? What is that? Fuck you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, that's, that's what it's I have to say. Now, here's here's the problem. problem. Here's my problem. It's it's how terrible it looked to begin with, and a lot of sites are saying that this is still early. Uh, here, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if it is still early. Like what shit. you're doing, Warner Brothers is asking a lot from their audience. Okay, this is what yeah. they're asking. We're creating our own streaming service. We want you to pay, to pay for this. literally I don't pay feel a like monthly. This is the first thing they should be putting on well, a streaming. Well, service. Yeah, no. but this is what they should have done. Um, they should have waited. And cleaned it up a little bit better or, or created a small teaser to get more hype. But here's the thing. I already have a problem going to the movies and spending a shit ton of money on a movie ticket for, for a DC film nowadays like I did for, you know, Justice League. Um, it it yeah. wasn't as bad as, as Dawn of Justice was, but I had some issues, of course. But that was still a, a bit of money that I really don't want to spend ever again on a DC film. <laughs> Um, other than probably Wonder Woman, and it looks like maybe Aquaman. But you're right; this is taking a step back. You're asking your audience and the fans to say, "Hey, hey, pay a monthly fee. We'll have you know Batman Returns on there, and we'll have fucking animated series, and then we'll have our own new shows that we created." And this should have been this should have been a more calculated response instead of they 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 blew that load again. They're blowing well, that load, and they should have waited. They should have cleaned it up maybe tested it in front of an audience or something because it looked like no one crazy. ever reviewed well, it it was DC blew was, their load all over comic-con this year this though, is the same guy that did don't, the don't shows that you don't like matt this is the same guy so it's not like he, who, well, who, why who's doing this greg berlanti the guy who did flash and arrow and uh, and fucking legend oh, he's of doing, tomorrow he's doing this and too? supergirl it's the same fucking guy i like so, i like flash for a little bit and so i just didn't watch no no, no. i i, I don't good for a season I, I don't fault you for not watching Flash or not liking Flash or any of that stuff. All I care about, there's this little thing called the Mendoza. Here's a little baseball term called the Mendoza line, all right? And the Mendoza line is a batting average that you got to stay at or above to stay in the major leagues. Yeah. Comic books have a Mendoza line. As long as you stay above that fucking Mendoza line, I am allowed to, I, I will take as much as you can get. Just stay above the Mendoza line. Mendoza line for Teen Titans is Robin's not a vicious fucking murderer and a fucking Raven isn't a doe-eyed princess who's like, hey, I need help. Stay above that Mendoza line. You get everything of that right, you can you can take liberties. But this well, is they, like, I mean, they took liberties with Arrow, and they took liberties. They with took, li but they stayed above the fucking Mendoza line, right? He was still oh, on a oh, fucking oh, island. He yeah, fucking they, still also had... they were, they they had walls up. They don't have walls here, 
So yeah, yeah they can say fuck. And they can like say that. fucking kill people and things like that. There's no know? reason which, for which that. Word. There's no reason for him to say fuck, fuck Batman. Right, right, right. Not people well, go, oh wow, he said fuck Batman. There is no is reason. Fine, to say but that. what I'm saying is, because of that, they, and I'm sure they have a lot more money to work with than something like uh, the Flash sure had right like in the first beginning. There, this is yeah. this is their this is what they're using to sell a service, and to which I don't think is a good idea. Your look of something like that that looks so cheap i mean right down to the lighting not even the cinematography but the lighting was so it reminded me of the batman on the rooftop in the beginning of justice league and remember i said this looked like a fucking yeah. network television show <laughs> this isn't network television this this is you have no You're rules paying you can for do this. what you want and yeah, I, I, and it, unfortunately it, i i feel that they failed and they shouldn't have failed and a lot of sites are are, are you know, defending them and say, "Hey, it's it's not even done yet." Well, they shouldn't no, have showed it. They, they said shouldn't this, have showed they, it. They, but no, I don't. I don't want to hear that shit either. Because when they, you know, when they first fucking said that bullshit, somebody leaked the pictures of it on fucking line. They're, don't worry, these aren't the real costumes. Watch the trailer; it's the exact same shit. Now they're saying, "Don't worry, it's not finished. It's this. This is what's finished." There's no way you're gonna retcon. <sighs> Robin murdering, and I'm going to underline that point. I guess the, the lesson you didn't take from Batman is don't murder people. He murders don't six murder, Don't murder people. people with guns. You can paralyze him, though. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Paralyze him, motherfucker. He fucking murders six people. If this was Jason Todd Robin, sure, I got no problem. Dick Grayson would never murder six fucking people, and then as a joke with blood on his face, go, fuck Batman. Like, like what? Are, what? It's just like some emo it's kid. Edgy. It's trying to be edgy. It's, it's edgy and it's talk, talk, but it, it, it had people talking the wrong way. Make the because... Deathstroke show. You want to make the Deathstroke show? Make the fucking Deathstroke show. Well, I'm sure they'll include Deathstroke. In no, this Deathstroke one. ain't gonna have shit to do with this shit. It, it, hey, it should. It should never if they want to do something right on this show that makes sense. No, 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 no. Deathstroke makes sense on Arrow. He don't make sense on this shit. He don't make sense on. He's fucking... had big, but he's had arcs with Teen Titans though. So that's why I'm gonna see what happens. You, you, okay, you, uh, maybe you're, you're not understanding what I'm saying. I think we you're, need to play a game. <laughs> you're taking the tone of the, uh, of of some kind of John Wick, and you're adding it to uh, Rainbow Bright. Why are you doing that? <laughs> what, what are you? Making? Why the fuck not? We haven't explored it yet. To make your own fucking show. Why are you using what Teen Titans for? You're trying to get brand loyalty to make me come over there because I like Teen Titans. But you're gonna take maybe, my maybe DC's confused. With they feel it. like they're gonna lose their. They're going to lose Toon Titans to another studio. Who knows? Maybe everybody's confused. I have no well, it's it's going to get bad because, you know, Disney is going to have their own streaming service, and a lot of their movies and shows Bummer. on Netflix are starting to disappear, uh, any property that they have, because they're going to move everything over there. Moving everything um, over. Especially with the Fox uh, merger. A lot of shit from Netflix. So Netflix is going to get hurt bad. Big Warner time. Brothers is doing the yeah. same thing. Um, they... It's it's gonna get ugly. I think in the next few years, it's 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 gonna be bad. I I, I know we all kind of we're, we're all gonna have Netflix original programming because they're not gonna have any other shit that's not theirs. <laughs> all uh, the yeah, but that's yeah. that's good and bad. You know, yeah. Netflix hasn't had a great track record. They had a pristine and then they failed. I mean, Fucked we kind of discussed a little bit of that earlier, but mm -hmm. um, it's got flooded. It it's gonna just... get interesting. Yeah, yeah you flood the market with streaming services. Sure. And nobody really wants to be paying like fifteen bucks for all these different. Should be a lot cheaper. And, and, if I'm paying fifteen dollars, you gotta hit me with. You gotta be like HBO, where like like nine out of ten, I'm entertained like fuck. Yeah. Like if I'm paying fifteen dollars, I don't want to have the numbers that Netflix is running with. I mean, now. I'm like the only one here that doesn't watch network television. So <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't have. I don't have. I mean, I'm before, the only one so. here that watches network television. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm the guy. It's, it's terrible. And. Um, I, I hope the streaming services start. There are some diamonds in the rough, but way. it's free. <laughs> so that, well, the thing that's about why streaming it's services that you just watch it later on Hulu or wherever the fuck you want to watch it. So yeah. it's kind of like, I don't know, everybody out there is the guinea pig for it. It's like, oh, all these like network TV sheep are still watching TV. Yeah, but they don't have to adhere to any rules, you know, especially with the FCC. They yeah. can they can really just say fuck Batman and they can have tits galore and whatnot and and that's a good thing because story wise you can really create something very interesting. Why is he saying fuck Batman? 
That is the, my problem. That's not even the biggest problem, problem. Really. I think. That's my big problem because I know why sure, they're it's, it's not a... It's, it's not just a, to go, hey, we're edgy. We're not. We're not the Flash. Fuck. It's that, that shit right there is not is when you're, you're sacrificing the character for some marketing gimmick, which yeah. means your show means absolutely nothing to me. It's just marketing. I don't care yeah. because you're just doing everything to win over people who don't like your property to begin with. Well... Because you're making it like Riverdale, like on fucking Riverdale. Side. We'll make it dark and it'll be murder and right. fucking uh, Jughead's a crack addict and fucking fucking uh, Archie's a fucking uh, a steroids plan. Yeah. Fucking it's stupid. all about making money. Riverdale's and... actually interesting, at least. Uh, right. And how, much you read, how, how much do you like Riverdale before? It's like, an, it's, like an, it's like Encyclopedia Brown on crack. It's like, I want an Encyclopedia Brown, but he's a fucking rapist. And I'm going to watch Bad Bar, but he's a fucking... Foaming at the mouth, of rabbit, rabbit, He's fucking ra- elephant. rabbit, elephant. <laughs> what are we doing? Make your own shit. Just make your own shit originally. Don't call it Titans. Call it the, the Death it Squad. And make it your own characters. You can do whatever you want at that point. But when you take a character that has a history and you say, "Fuck all that history. Fuck the actual fucking all of it," and we're gonna shit on everything else. It's like, what? What are you doing that for? Why? 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 You Why'd want my money, but that? you don't give a shit about my opinion. So I'm not gonna give you my money. So fuck yeah. you. No, it's gonna. F- I really don't think the the streaming service is gonna be successful to begin with. So yeah, I was I was just Don't looking at what they're now. doing with it. It was uh, it's gonna be eight bucks, and uh, you're gonna have one show to I start. Guarantee you that goes <laughs> like, what, up within the. How's first that year. CBS uh, uh, one doing? Because they had Star Trek Discovery. How's that one going? Oh, uh, I don't. I've never seen. Any anybody ever fucking that. watched? <laughs> I'm the only one. I haven't, I haven't discovered it yet, so I don't know. <laughs> discover it, man. Come on, look for, look for it. <laughs> Fight it. Well, let's talk about some lighter news. Mm. Um, let's talk about James Gunn. Oh boy! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, Jesus! You know it's funny. Who wants to Who wants to tackle this one first? Uh... I'll jump right in. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't think you want me to say about it though. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I mean, what are your I don't thoughts? Know. The, the guy fucking said shit. What seven years ago? That the motherfucker worked for Trauma for fucking a decade. You know, Dis- Disney knew what the fuck they were getting themselves into. Oh, they and, did. Uh, he did Super prior to that. Have yeah, you seen Super? Super? Yeah, there was pretty much a rape scene. There was a rape scene. Super, there, there were superheroes raping each other. Yeah, well, well, I mean, really, what, a, what else? A, a female raping. A, fe- a female raping a male. Yeah. It was. It was. Know. It was cutting edge stuff. Um, yeah, and that was yeah. before the first Guardians film came out. So, yeah, 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 um, yeah. Since he did PG porn, also by the way, in case yeah, yeah, anybody he did. forgot he about did. that, yeah, he did that. So, uh, um, so yeah, yeah. It, it, well, since Guardians has come out, he hasn't really done that stuff, and uh, unfortunately, yeah. um, I did look, you know, at a lot of the comments and and whatnot, and and this was a uh, uh, a, a pretty, you know. Big Trump supporter that brought us to the attention of everybody and, uh, and a lot uh, of a lot of yeah yeah you know who I'm talking about uh, yeah, uh, was, Michael whatever he's he's yeah, a rapist we'll also that. people just by the way the guys I don't are want to give him any airtime he's a convicted rapist well he said even far worse things than I've even said which is surprising um, <sighs> I usually just say fuck Trump but I mean he yeah you know, that's, well be careful they're gonna dig up those uh, tweets from five years ago now yeah well you know it's 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 there's a, you know somewhat of a first amendment right there but at the same time yeah private private organization a corporate organization has the right to fire you based upon that stuff but the problem is that was before he even got hired that wasn't even after he got hired yeah um, he had a track. the other thing too is this got blown up big and if you looked at a lot of the retweets and whatnot i checked some out i found like four bots that the only tr- the only fucking tweet they've ever made was a retweet of that. So, of course, you know, yeah, it's still course. it's still crazy out there. And I think it got blown up even even worse than it needed to be. But yeah. it wasn't well, now hidden. It, uh, it wasn't Alt- a secret. Patton Oswald and Michael Ian Black he wasn't hook. raping anybody. Yeah. He made harmless comments because yeah. words are just words. They have really no meaning to them. Something I yeah. say in this country means something completely different in another country. And the same thing. It's, it's based upon us as a society. We create words and we give them meaning. They do not hurt anybody. You could say words that maybe are offensive, but that's their interpretation <laughs> of that. You know, like nothing can offend me. You know, since we've, we've done podcasting, we've had people say shit to us and we've had death threats and whatnot. And, yeah. you know, honestly, I could give two shits because none yeah. of that ever really resorts to anything. It's just words. And if honestly, yeah. if you don't like it, Turn off. Go somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, You're not forced to do this. You're not forced to listen or watch. And 
it is surprising and that's the biggest thing is um you know you look at the thing that's being said right now with, with johnny depp um he he looks like he beat the shit out of a, of a girl and uh, still kind of yeah. gets a pass on a lot of things what um, sandy beat the shit out of somebody on the set the other day what San Diego Comic Con did to Amber Heard yesterday is probably more offensive than what James Gunn has done in his entire life. What yeah. they did oh, yeah. was have her attacker on stage. Somebody right physically her. harmed beat her. Yeah. From her. <laughs> physically yeah. beat the yeah. shit out of her. Yeah. And probably, yeah, that, 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 and I, I even listened to that tape with her. He was verbally yelling at her and screaming at her. Yeah. Um, you know, Johnny Depp has a lot of issues, and most likely they're probably. Um, drinking issues and and yeah. he resorts and lashes out um but you know he beat the shit out of somebody on the set what a week ago or two weeks ago yeah, uh, yeah. on set so he's, he's obviously got a problem but it's a he shame has a hip, where, he's, he's been a habitual person who's for a while now done yeah. violence he's, against he's, somebody. He's, he's an alcoholic and yeah. that's gonna but end again badly. again <laughs> in the united states you're innocent to a proven guilty and we have a we have a system here so to see a lot of right people now. get uh, their careers destroyed over not really going yeah. through a system just based upon words, words. Yeah. He wasn't telling yeah. anybody to go do some harm to somebody. He was having. It was a, it was dark. It was dark, dark humor. humor, and we're into dark humor too. And and yeah, yeah we I, say I mean, shit on this show that really we, we don't mean any of it. We yeah, we, we're just and, being and, funny. And, and we used to say, I mean. I think if, even looking back at all the shows that we've done, this is get, this is us getting real now. Apparently, um, we used to say some like more fucked up shit, and I got me personally some backlash on certain things that maybe I said. And you know what? You're fucking young, and you say stupid shit, and you just change your attitude. You know, should it be really held against you, considering it's also words. But um, I don't know, man. We're yeah, yeah. we're, we're and, in a we're and, in and a Roseanne bar world, baby. Anyone who's listened to our show knows we work, I guess the term is blue and lead most times with irreverence. I can only speak for myself here, but I personally still have lines that I won't cross, mainly due to knowing there are consequences, as Justin said, to joking without apparent empathy. I'll just say that. We all, we all try to come at a risky joke from a place of clear humor. <laughs> Verbally is the best way to do that because you can convey your intent as harmless. If you're being mean-spirited on a taboo subject, not conveying the proper signals of clear humor, you alienate and offend. And I mean, whether it's right or wrong, that's happens. Most jokes in print without context or verbal delivery, that would soften the blow to get across your humorous intent. Just sit there, like James Gunn's tweets, in black and white, leaving the door wide open for it to be yeah. taken. We can talk about one of our heroes. Obviously, this guy's yeah. a pedophile. We, we can right. talk about one of our heroes, and we could talk, you know, uh, a Dice. You know, we bring yeah. Dice up all the time, and Dice got yeah. a lot of backlash back in the day. Times have changed. He's okay. He didn't. He didn't harm anybody. He he no. physically. No. He's 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 still a, a great citizen. He hasn't yeah. actually hurt anyone. No one got hurt by it. So you just don't purchase it. You just don't listen. People got to their it. feelings hurt. If D- yeah. Disney knew about these tweets by oh, Gunn. Oh, his, they, I'm sure they vetted. And they also through. knew about his regret for writing them when uh, they hired him for Guardians 1. We've already talked about that. So they can't claim ignorance, but they are a corporation at the end of the day. They aren't your friend. You who has a friend, uh, when you have a friend who they, they usually lean toward loyalty no matter what. That's what a friend is. They are yeah. not a friend. Well, they are a, a studio. Per, All yeah. studios exist here to, make, to money. make money. Period. And to limit the and to limit risk of anything that would get in the way of making said money. And an, an oncoming shit storm, yeah. conservative value, moral high ground groups well, that are going to come at us. I own Disney stock. Right. And that's all it is. It's for money. And they're, so they're, the people have a voice. And if they don't, they don't like it. Don't pay for you it. You have to answer to your they, stockholders. They well, they are essentially trying yeah. to limit. It's, it's that fucking line in uh, Fight Club. Ed Norton in Fight Club is that it talks about insurance companies only issue a recall of faulty cars when the cost of that recall is less than the lawsuits that would come from people being harmed by faulty cars. James Gunn was a recall. It sucks, but it's yeah. a recall. They're looking at risks like, okay, we can keep James Gunn, but how much money will we lose if we keep him? Is it more than if we get him, let him go and start a new? Well, okay, we'll let him go then. Yeah. That's, his, well, that's all the decisions. Well, I feel like yeah. the same people that wanted him it sucks, out of anyway, the is. same I, I, asshole who wouldn't go see his movie anyway. You're right. Yeah. You're right. But honestly, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know any of this happened until they fired him. It wasn't a big thing that was like 
Bruin uh, on right. Twitter or whatnot. I really didn't know until it actually happened. So, you know, I trust there most likely won't be a Guardians 3 because I think that cast oh, is yeah, going to say, we're not going to do that, it without I, our director. I, 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 I was talking on Twitter with uh, right J.D. Duran. He was like saying, oh, yeah, you know, they probably hire somebody new. And I'm like, well, well it's not going to be. But go, they're not, you're going to have a hard leaves. time. You're going to have a cast. one. You're gonna, the first problem you're, you're going to have a hard time. I could kind of see coming back. No, no, no. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're going to have a hard time of having any director of any talent oh, stepping yeah. in those shoes because they are going to be loyal to Gunn. Yeah, Second problem shoes. is 95% of that cast is loyal to Gunn. And immediately after yeah, I tweeted that, Dave, yeah, yeah, Dave Batista tweets out, I'm really pissed off. Michael Rooker's like, fuck this. Yep. He you're left Twitter. Get... Yeah. So He's you're canceling gonna... his account tomorrow. Who, Gunn or Rucker? Rucker. Yes, I, I put out a tweet today and said, this is it, guys. It's Goodbye, like, I'm done. Fuck in, see ya. Well, you can't say shit anymore because people are now are just digging up yeah, shit. For, but we, they, we'll this is the world we shit. live in now. We'll stay, this, we'll stay yeah, shit. fuck everybody. Fuck all you motherfuckers. I'm sure they're going to love the game I have. Oh, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it, is, oh, is it game time? Oh, God. What's the I game? I don't know. Time? You think it's game time, guys? <laughs> game time. Game Let's time. do a game. Um, <laughs> you guys... I don't know, you're not looking at the stream and there's a little lag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my screen. Okay. So I'm going to take the soundboard away. Let's see. Fuck you. Yeah. That's what Fuck I have to you say. Too. <laughs> Fuck you too. Fuck you too. One day I saw a child playing with a ruby. With a ruby. <laughs> so I saw the ruby. A ruby. <laughs> All right. So. You're right, DJ. It is very fun. I told you it's great. It's extremely fun, isn't it? <laughs> I told you it's great. It's yes. The best thing ever. So we're gonna play... I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're going to play a game. You guys excited for this? I'm excited. I might be kind of excited. I am Optimus Prime, and I'm excited. It's not going to be the greatest game ever, but I think it is. Is it a $1,000 This pyramid? very well could be the greatest game ever. There is no way of winning anything. So. Oh, Jesus. But you, you should you should play your heart's content. There's no winners in this game. Somebody could die if this doesn't Whoa. go right. Oh, death threats again. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I mean, not really death threats. More like, you know, what? could happen. Oh, I've had death threats. Kill Walking Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> and I laugh. It's hysterical. <laughs> death threats. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people have died for me to allow to say, you know, fuck so and so? Yeah. 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 All right. I'll All keep right. saying. More than I can count. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to play a game? Yeah. 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 Are you ready? I didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah. We're going to play America's favorite game. Mm. Ooh. It's the greatest game, and it's taken the country by storm. What? The shit storm? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, are they dead yet? All right. I love this game. This is a good game. Somebody will die in this game. Somebody's Somebody gonna die. die. Somebody's already dead. <laughs> this game. This, this game, game might kill me. I got a nice little theme song going. I feel like I'm at the circus right now. You like that? Are they dead I'm yet? Gonna, so what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you five actors. And you're going to guess if they're dead or not. This is going to be hard. I, I, I suck at figuring out people's deaths. I think that I still think that Bernie Mac's alive. <laughs> really? Well, Come on. He might be. You don't he might be on this list. I might, he might be. He's down a little bit. But I feel like if they're dead, I feel like it's all up for discussion. Are they? I'm going to be I'm gonna be cheering for people's deaths in this game. Oh, yeah. You are. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of cheering going on in this game. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. I got it right. Yeah, they're dead. Bring out like I dick. said, this is America's favorite game. Mm, of yep. course. It's, uh, it's, I'm sure ABC is going to be calling. They're going to probably want to yep. put it on. Yeah. Well, not ABC. That's Disney. You got to go like Fox. Oh, Fox. No, Fox is. Yeah. I, feel like this, I feel like this is more suited for like True FX. TV. This True is for TV. FX. Maybe it's Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> we were talking about Bravo earlier. Well, maybe it's Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bravo's this like might, a this word might go on. This might go on Amazon TV. We don't oh, know. Yeah. Might, oh, we're gonna be, 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 be on the DC they streaming have, service. Uh, gonna be on, gonna be on I'm streams. dancing. Yes. I love this music. Yeah. It's fantastic. Fuck, are they dead yet? Are they dead yet? You guys ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? ready? Matt, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? First. Are they dead? Actor is. Yeah. Jack Warden. 
Is Jack Warden huh. dead or Is alive? Is Jack Warden dead? I can't see. From Problem Child 1 and 2. Oh, Jack Warden. Oh. Jack Warden. I'm going to say that. Great I feel actor. like he's uh, he's I think he I think he's kicked rocks or he's, he's kicked dead the bucket. As fuck. He's dead as fuck. I'm, I'm going for the yes on this You're guy. Locking in your answers. I'm, I'm locking in. I'm, in. I'm, I'm locking in. I'm locking in. I'm yes. My, my hand fucking. on the sound button. He's dead as fuck. I'm ready. And yes, definitely <laughs> dead. <laughs> Yeah! Jack Warden. I thought I knew he was dead. He Jack was, he Warden was died in 2006. Yeah, he Whoa. was old. He was old 30 years ago. Yeah, he's been old, he's been old for a while. Now he's Hey, old guys, stuff. don't get too cocky. It's going to get even harder. Well, I mean, that guy was old. Oh, man. I, I, I love your announcer voice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he's Jack dead inside. Mullery. <laughs> All right, our Let's next actor. Dead? Are you ready yeah. for the next actor? I'm, I'm, I'm so yeah, fucking Yeah, we're ready. ready. We're ready. He's appeared in many films, including Christmas Vacation. Uh-oh. His name is? E.G. Marshall. Ooh. Is the dad from Christmas Story? Yes. He's, he's in he's Christmas dad Story. Christo. That's a dad from Christmas, Christmas Story. Story. Um... Christmas Vacation. Then I say Christmas, Christmas Vacation. Uh, yeah, yeah exactly. I thought you said Christmas Vacation. I yeah, thought maybe Don't fuck with me, DJ. Okay? <laughs> I'm the game show host. No. Can you enlarge that picture anyway? I, I, I gotta I'm get the a host. I gotta get a good shot of this guy. I gotta get a good shot of him. Yeah, make it a little bigger. Yeah, Come on, you, you know what EG looks like. You've seen this guy EG before. EG Marshall! I think he's... He's in a... I'm he was in yes. a... Was it... T um, what was Christmas Vacation? What was the bug was episode it? in the... Oh, Seriously. creep show. He was creep in. Uh, they're, they're creeping up on you. Oh, him. he's dead. This guy's got to be dead. He's dead. Are you, are you locking in your Christmas, answers? I'm, I'm locking like, in. Yes. Yeah. Wait, wait. Christmas vacation was like what? Two thousand. No, Eighty-nine. Eight, 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 oh, he's dead as fuck. This guy's dead. <laughs> Don't get <laughs> cocky, DJ. <laughs> I think he's dead. He's dead. You think he's dead? Nope. If he's not dead, he's a head in a bottle like fucking Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. Yeah! Definitely yeah! dead. We that know our dead. dead people. We know dead. I know dead. I, know oh, dead. I don't guy. know. That guy's dead. I know, know dead. dead. That guy's I know dead. dead. You know you dead. Don't I know dead. dead. I know dead. You know dead. E. I'm dead. You, you know e. dead. G. Marshall died in 1998. Jesus Christ. Ooh. I just graduated Man. high school and he Jeez. died. Happy graduation to me. I was I just getting out of You guys school. are catching in on the pattern here. <laughs> Everyone's they dead. They might all be dead. It's like six cents backwards. <laughs> I swear, I M, M. Night makes a movie called Are They Dead Yet? Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be on his uh, Tales from the Crypt reboot on the TNT. Oh, don't even fucking remind me. <laughs> I forgot that was happening. And by the way, they are, they are working on a creep show TV show with uh, the guy right. from uh, Walking He's, Dead. The, uh, you're the, right. The makeup hard guy. Pass. The makeup hard, guy. Hard, hard, hard pass. Yeah. Hard, hard pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. Come on, I, I, I'm ready for more. I want to see more dead people. Third Who else is dead? Um, give me some dead. All right. Yeah. Give me death. Give me death. Our third actor is John Ashton. Oh, oh. Of course he's dead. Gomez from the Adams Gomez family. I remember when he died. He's I'm going gonna, gonna to say no. What? Are You're you gonna crazy? say no? And... That's a black and white picture. DJ's gonna say yes. Hitler's oh. list was in black and white. All those people are still alive. Yeah, that but guy Adam's is family dead. is quite old. That guy's so is. dead. His reincarnated version. Reincarnated Adam's family is before any of us really were born. I, don't, I, I feel like he's about 98 years old. He'd be a he's Highlander if he's alive. He's dead as fuck. He's I'm dead saying, dead I'm saying no. I'm, I'm saying he's alive. You're nuts. I'm winning this game. Dead okay. as fuck. But don't right. put dead. Put dead as fuck. Locked in your boats. Yeah. We're in. Dead and not dead is what you're saying. Super dead. I said dead yeah. as fuck. I'm, I'm saying. Oh. oh! Not dead! What? No way this guy's alive! He's alive. alive. He's I need proof of life. I need here. proof of fucking and life. Fun you fact. You want a fun what? fact, motherfucker? I want a fun Show fuck. me this fucking guy's Guess alive. Guess who father he is? Ooh. Sean Astin from a classic movie. What was it the called? The Goonies. No, Rude? the one we did a commentary on. <laughs> Rudy? Oh, <laughs> Rudy? No, the oh, snowboarder. Oh, Icebreaker. Icebreaker. Yeah. Why Did you know he was the Rudy? father of Sean Astin? There's no Boom. way this guy's alive, and there's no oh, way and he plays the Riddler. No, no that's in the third wait. season of Batman. Incorrect. 
Yeah, all of his own. He played the third. He... <laughs> I don't believe any of these facts. I He's got to hold these facts in front of him. I it's did fake research, news. motherfucker. <laughs> I'm looking all this up. I'm, 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 I'm checking all this shit no, out. No, no, no. Don't dead. cheat, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, this is like cheating a lot. You're making all this shit up. This guy's dead. This guy's no, he's dead. alive. He's old as fuck, but he's I alive. Gomez is, is alive. There's no way he shot ass his dad. There's no he way. Is. He is. I know shot ass at 900 like, years old. His name rings a bell. I shit you not, motherfucker. <laughs> I, 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 dis, I disagree with this. No, it's, it's true. I, I don't looked believe into you. it. I don't know how he's alive, but he is alive. He's still alive. How old is Sean Astin? Sean Astin would have to be 73 years old. Yeah, Sean Astin's about 40 something. What did he have, Sean Astin, when he was 60? I, I don't know how old he is. How if Sean Astin's, let's say, 40. <laughs> We're doing math now. I, I if Sean Astin's 40, Sean he's Astin's not be about 80. Are you ready for your fourth actor? Yes. I'm trying Are to you guys excited? This, Do you like this the game? The guy from Adam's family, he's dead. He was dead on the show. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> well, maybe playing a dead person on a show allows you to live life forever. Live forever. You maybe, more. yeah. See? <laughs> Although everyone Sorry. else pretty much is There's dead on that show. There's something to it. I really don't know. But he is Sean Astin's father. <laughs> and he <laughs> is I, alive. I he might be alive, but he definitely is Sean Astin's dad. <laughs> he's on the verge. I've seen Sean Astin. That's I know Sean Astin's father. father. He's no Sean Astin's father. <laughs> he is. I looked it up he's... at four in the morning. You spelled Sean Astin wrong. <laughs> Sean Austin. It's Austin. Austin. Steve Austin. Whatever. Dad. He, he, he could be Steve Austin's Austin. Austin. dad. Yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Give me a yeah, goddamn yeah. beer. All righty. That's, That's winning this game so far. Well, well, I think I'll he's winning in fictitious land because that guy's dead. <laughs> God. I'm, I'm, I'm the protesting. only thing that's dead right now is your chance of winning this game. It's Probably. still anybody's game. We got two more left. Are you ready for the fourth Be one? Go away. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Be away. Be away. Your fourth one is Doris Day. Oh come on! Is Doris, Doris Day, Day dead or alive? Is Doris Day dead or alive? Doris Day. Let's Are they see. dead yet? America's favorite game. Yes or no? You like the yes America's or no? Favorite. I've taken that from uh, Instagram because that's what all the kids are into. Yes, oh, right. Right. The IG yeah. thing. Is uh, Doris I, dead? I feel, I feel like Doris dead. Day is dead. Is it Doris dead or Doris Day alive? <laughs> Doris, Doris alive. alive. Doris dead. <laughs> is it Triple D? Diners, drive-ins, and Doris? Doris, dead. Doris Day dead. Her death day already happened. No Ray, no Ray me. You Ray are Ray dead. dead. Your votes? I'm saying I'm she's locking dead. I'm locking it, yes. Doris dead. You're both saying dead? Dead yes. as fuck. Well, I'm saying dead. You ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. You're excited, aren't you? I'm fucking yeah. pissed off because Sean Astin can't crazy, be that guy's man. son. <laughs> it can't be real. It, it can't be, be real. dead yet. Doris dead. No! Doris dead. Oh, no. I'm just throwing these people's names wrong. There's She's no way so Doris stays alive. There's no way Doris stays alive. Doris. Doris, Doris, alive. Doris. Somebody stole her identity. <laughs> Probably. Name. It's Morris Day. Morris Day is alive, not Doris, Doris Day. <laughs> Oh. No one knows. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Morris Day in the time is alive. Doris oh, yeah. Day is a fucking uh, is, is fucking filling a coffin. Who, who would have thought that Morris Day in the time would have outlived Prince? That is true. They did a lot of drugs. They Side did. Note. Side note: a lot of drugs. A lot of drugs for old Morris Day in the time. Oh my god! I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. How the fuck is Doris Day Stop alive? Dead. <laughs> How would Doris Day not dead? Yo, somebody get on top of that. Hey, somebody find me Doris Day. I want a dead. That's <laughs> still taking the game by storm. He's one up on DJ. <laughs> taking this game by storm. Got a stumble <laughs> there. Yeah. Brand Are new one. Uh, for your for fifth and final actor. Mm. Sure. Let's do this. You sound very excited, DJ. <laughs> I'm John still trying to figure him. out how to fuck Gomez and start ass his I know, I, I was, when I found that out, I said, that's going to fuck him up. And I went for the <laughs> black and white photo. Fuck up my whole and life. And goes, oh, it's black and white. He's oh, definitely he's dead. And I dead. smiled. <laughs> Stop doing your inner monologue. As he rubbed his hands together. <laughs> no, he looks like Stop the crypt. Stop your life. <laughs> <laughs> he don't look so good right now, but he's Yo, still alive. Uh, he's he's no no alive. He, he was in an episode of Tales. What is, what is your so, definition of a lie, Justin? Because he, I don't think that guy's He lying. can stand. In a, in a vegetative state, you can still <laughs> But he can stand. 
He's on a life support. There's no way that guy's alive. <laughs> They're gonna keep him alive for he's a natural fucking treasure. Treasure, yeah, treasure Sierra Madre. There's no <laughs> way that fucking guy's alive. <laughs> He's a modern day Hal. Oh, deep cut, folks. Deep cut, folks. Look up tre treasure here, my yeah. Look that up. You feel this game's too dark or not? Yeah, it's pretty. pretty well, I mean, I've already killed Sean Astin, so my. Yeah, well. let's, uh, yeah, let's let's brighten it up with this final question. All right, we got one left. If uh, DJ gets this one, he can tie it, and if Matt gets it, he's the 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 king of Are They Dead Yet? America's I'm the favorite. King. King. I'm, the, I'm the king of the dead. King of the dead. <laughs> You make it sound so happy. I'm the king of the dead. King of the dead. Are you ready for the king of the dead? Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. All not right, yet. you ready? Not yet. I'm not yet. I'm not yet. Not no. yet. Sorry. I forgot you could see this. I think you could only see this screen. <laughs> no, Sorry, buddy. You're we're seeing both. both. Unfortunately, I can't. Yeah, okay. We're All doing right. this live. Your fifth actor is... <laughs> gotta be dead. Gotta be dead. Abe Goda. Come on, uh, go to Abe, Abe is gone. Abe. He's ghost town, DJs. Yeah, he's, what? He's, he's pushing you, up daisies. Are you yeah. sure? He's oh picking up. He's, he's pushing Barney up Miller. Goes. Come on, he'd be on Conan if he wasn't if he was alive. He hasn't been on Conan for thirty years. Come on, Good Burger. <laughs> Bad Burger. He's Dead Burger. He's gone. <laughs> he ate some Good Burger. <laughs> you see, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. Uh, hey, are you sure? Wait, wait, Tom, can you, can, you, can you help me out one last time, Tom? No, you're dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Got for the reference. Right have, and DJ, you are you locked into your final answers? Barney Miller, dead. He's dead. He's Abe doomed. Vagoda is no Mora. Abe well, here's the thing about He's that doomed. one. Dead Vagoda. Nobody really knows! I'm it's telling you, he's dead! Oh, I know he's dead! Oh, 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 has been alive longer than history itself. <laughs> Looks like Matt wins this game. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I know he's dead. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. That I'm going to start growing some I hair out of my ears. Yet on the this game is rigged. Look up if Sean Astin's really this guy's dad, son. Please. Somebody out there. Somebody. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't somebody please call in. Give, give, us, give us the answer. If people don't understand the last joke. The joke of Abe Bogota still being alive is something that Hollywood's been playing for a long time now because people would say, is Abe Bogota still alive? And and then they find out he is, and they're like, how the fuck is he still alive? But he's dead. He's dead. But no one really dead. knows. Nobody, nobody really, really knows. knows. Nobody, nobody knows really for know. sure. People have been saying <laughs> Abe's been dead for years now. I'm telling you, yeah. he's dead. There was a he's website dead. dedicated to if Abe Bogota was still alive. There was also a website dedicated to Britney Spears' virginity. Websites are bad. <laughs> Websites this one was are good great. for a while. Uh, you know, no website one really is knows. Great. <laughs> .net is a fantastic website. Oh, yeah, that's it's a great website. You, know, you check a whole bunch of stuff. What website's that? All the real news. It's Simplicity a website with a. Uh... <laughs> is everybody adopting? Yeah. <laughs> is everybody adopting the, the radio host guy <laughs> voice? <laughs> Simplicityreviews.net. <laughs> W N W N Steve. Okay, I'm gonna stop the <laughs> And we're gonna go into some news for today. Give me oh, some new news, me. huh? Some news. Well, this is not necessarily entertainment news. Not necessarily the news. news TV show on HBO. Yeah. yeah. Well, deep cut. Deep cut. There. Deep cut. Yeah. Okay. I'm sharing the uh, live simplistic review screen. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. All the right. only difference is you guys don't see the overlays, but uh, we're going to go into our news. News. Click the news button. On the news. On the march. Simply the news. I can't. Simply the news. Simply the news. Simply the news. Simply the news. Articles here. Simply the news. Talk about. Simply the news. News. Simply the news. Simply the news. Freddie, I'm seeing Freddie's comments. Really, his 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 comments are boring. Sean Aston is not related to the fucking gold guy. Sean Aston is dead. He's 88 years old. Sean Aston is not related to Freddie. Look it up. How does Freddie know that? He looked it up. He's on it. He said, I'm on it. 88 years old. He's on that it. That guy's dead. Freddie, you're looking at the wrong website. Look at the, other one. Look at the other one. The other one. 
You know, turn the next what? page. Next page. You got to read the real news. Read the real print. Read get the, the papers. Get, get the, the papers. Pa hey, Freddie, get the papers. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to like your comment, Freddie, but it keeps telling me Facebook keeps saying you've deleted the comment. I don't know if that's because true. Because he not. deleted because he was wrong. He knows he's dead. No, he's, <laughs> he's no he's this alive. Is for shit. And he played the Riddler. First off, you just made that up in your brain. I, I, why would I lie about that? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we're gonna play everything is a lie. I guess everything. a new game. I don't know if it's a game or not, but we're gonna play sure. um let's see if I can hide this fucking uh <laughs> yeah, this uh, doc of the shared screen. Simply the news. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put some. New at five. It was a slithery surprise uh, for no. one Virginia Beach family no, when they say they found a snake in their this toilet. Video. Whoa! And News 3's Anthony Sabella what? tells us video. where it came from what? and there's, what there's they video did with that will play along with this. Oh, Pretty scared. I mean, look at this. Uh, I can't hear it, but all right. This is some good news yeah, today. Uh, is that a, is that a snake in a toilet? Yeah, James got the deuce says he snake. was just standing in his hallway around 5:30 yesterday when he saw. I thought it slithers away from home, winds up in a man's toilet miles away. Is that Wilfred Brimley? A snake <laughs> in a toilet. It's Listen, kids, this is what happens when you get diabetes. When you get diabetes, you shit a snake. Holy shit, that bit is. Oh my god, is that fucking Jackie or Haley's neighbor? And he had an idea. His fishing pole. The guy and from the thing I and the guy this. from Watchmen are living together. I want to go back inside. <laughs> <laughs> so a python so slithers away pitch. from home and winds up in a man's toilet miles uh, away. Yeah. Well, you know. What a world we live in. Now you can't even take a shit without you looking in your toilet. <laughs> that woman doesn't look real. <laughs> can you back that up? From, she was sent from the future. Oh, to kill us? <laughs> a Terminator? <laughs> Sedakata. Yes. Sedakata. 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 I like the fact that this uh this uh Jackie Earl Haley uh, gentleman uh caught a snake with a fishing pole. With a fishing pole. I'd use a gun. <laughs> Fuck. Fishing, yeah. It looks like it looks like there's a little shit in there. Yeah, well, I think first so. off, I there ain't no little watch. about it, Blizzy. <laughs> That's a That's lot That's definitely shit. some shit in there. Do you, I'm That's starting funny. to think the shit came out of the guy's asshole. I'm trying to think that <laughs> the snake I, have came a, out. I have a snaking suspicion. <laughs> That's what was incredible. the name of the snake jungle book? What the fuck is it? <laughs> and then he used the Cock fishing rod to ass. pull the snake Cock out. And the snake is referenced as her out. What? Huh. So apparently it's a huh. female snake. I don't this know how they knew that right away, but maybe that's, they checked. Yeah. I guess he had the second base with it if it came out of his <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That's one, way. that's one way to get ahead. You think <laughs> Copperhead. Yeah. Uh, um, Look at that. He got, got, the, got the fucking... Cigarette and everything in his mouth. Hey, we, yeah. over under on NRA member. We're gonna go at uh seventy five percent. Oh, oh, the guy who caught the snake. Of course. Huh. <laughs> she fucking she shoots it. <laughs> he shoots yeah. it. Fucking oh, shoots to the fuck snake. Hey, Fred, you blew a hole in my door. Like, take away my Misses rats. It sixteen times. <laughs> Shoot a fucking snake in a toilet. You shot a snake in a toilet. <laughs> be dropping a deuce. I'm gonna drop a not twenty two. Double deuce. <laughs> It's like shooting snakes in a toilet. What? That's not a saying. <laughs> well, it is now. <laughs> so I guess I guess when you so guys take like a shit or piss, piss, you gotta look in the toilet first. I'm yeah, scared because I'm I feel like a snake's gonna come out and like eat my wiener. <laughs> first first off. Look at that thing. I'm concerned. It's a snake too. <laughs> yeah. Look at that thing. And a snake too. This is what happened when you throw your fucking pets away, kids. Well, one day exactly. a fucking parrot yeah. the size one of a day, fucking house is gonna attack you. <laughs> one day it's gonna bite your dick off. What's the number of, for animal control? We just captured a big snake that came up through our toilet. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. You know what's big when it's two exclamation points. That's, yeah. that's Well, the fact that he could update his Facebook without Googling fucking phone number for animal control. <laughs> well, it's, it's, yeah, it's not always We're easy. talking about Virginia here. Yeah, well, come yeah, on, is, man. Yeah, Virginia Beach. I'm as bad he knows how to type, <laughs> let alone type the right things. <laughs> well, Jesus. There's Wilford. Wilford Brimlet. I just hey, want to go Wilford. back. I want to go back inside. <laughs> just, please go back. let me inside. Please let me inside. I'm better now. I want I'm to go so back. scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Guys, this is a movie called The Thing with John Carpenter. And in there, uh, Wilford uh, Brimley. Uh, 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 <laughs> with a noose dangling next to his face goes. Yes. I just want to go back inside. <laughs> I just want to go back inside. That's all it is. All right. Let's do sorry, another thanks. one, shall we? Yeah, what, 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 what else is in today's... Uh, yeah, that might have been the craziest story you ever showed us. Oh, That's no, there's... Uh, I got, oh, there's, I got there's, more. It's better and than that. there's more. Man with the world's largest fingernails finally cuts those fuckers off oh, after finally. 66 oh, years. Jesus, what a Man. fucking bandsaw. 
Good he looks, for, he looks like, hey, I'll, I'll give you the finger. What the fuck yeah. are you going to do? He grew I mean, a collective uh, length of about nine, uh, 29 oh. feet and 10 inches. Damn, how does he pee? Yeah. Carefully? Uh, you want to watch the video? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I feel like we him, have to. Of him peeing? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. He's using a saw to cut off the fingernail. That guy's not wearing plastic gloves, and it really disturbs me, because I wouldn't touch that guy's fingernails with a 10-foot cattle prod. <laughs> look at this guy. He looks like Deep Roy from fucking... <laughs> he does. But now, now he has nothing else to look forward to in his yeah, life. Yeah, he's going to kill himself. Now he's, he's running a fucking brink. Is she doing sign language? I can't hear what she's saying, so I, I don't know what she's doing. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Well, she seems to be really into this guy's fingernails. I, I, I really, I'm really disgusting. And, he broke uh, a teacher's I... nails, so therefore he decided he didn't want to jerk off for 66 years. Oh, well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Feel the pain. Or wipe his ass. <laughs> or wipe oh his ass. How blow can you wipe your ass? Up? How do you wash With your face? Almost 30 guess... feet. Of fucking nails. I, I guess you just have somebody wipe your ass for you. I mean, that's, that's, that's they got a stink, bro. Why are you keeping that in a, in a fucking book? Uh, uh, a display well, this key? is really, this is going to be a very important historical artifact for the aliens when they come to Earth. <laughs> like, you fucking they, humans like, are sick. Like, <laughs> like, why are you humans so fucking retarded? Hey, Namblet, check this out. <laughs> the guy has his fingernails. <laughs> look, look at these stupid humans, like Kevin. Fingernails. <laughs> but they burn libraries and churches, but they keep fingernails. For some reason, those fucking things, man. <laughs> Sixty six years. They, they look pretty gnarly, man. They, they've seen they've seen some shit. Yeah, that's gotta be. <laughs> they literally have seen some shit. There's I mean, no six, way they have not seen some shit. I mean, sixty six <laughs> years. You gotta think. It's like those fingernails have survived like the Vietnam War. Those fingernails they've, are they've older than Justin everything. Bieber. <laughs> think yeah. about that. Yeah, they, they've been they're older than we are. Yeah, like almost well, collectively. Maybe you guys. I'm, I'm pretty old. Yeah, you're fucking uh, old. You're a fucking old fuck. <laughs> I'm an old bastard. I'm yeah, an old that's, rat. Bastard. That's a... Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's worse, well, snake or not wiping your ass? Uh, I think those fingernails uh, are pretty gross. I mean, I think, I think all these stories really have a collective kind of thing to them. It's like there's snakes in the toilet, and you can't wipe your ass with those fingernails. It's all like euphemisms for, like, sex. Like, I got a snake in the toilet. I got a snake in the toilet. I can't wipe my ass. Yeah, I, I got 66 yard, 66 year fingernails. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who thought the news would be so entertaining? Oh, oh yeah, well, it. you know, I had a, I had a. It took All me I saw was cuts. To get these I thought it said, said <laughs> the man with August fingernails cuts his own throat. <laughs> yes, yeah, I was kind of hoping that'd be it too. <laughs> the end of me. You want to get disgusting, even more disgusting? Oh. Yeah, yeah, let's get let's get gross. gross. Let's get really gross. gross. All right, really how gross, gross can we get? This is pretty. Bad. I you know this makes me go, what the fuck is wrong with people? This hey, like things you remember that. Go... Um, Black sarcophagus felt. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Ugh. Fucking nobody well, watched apparently, the movie. <laughs> just like no, they want James Gunn to come back. There's, yeah. They're also trying oh, wait, to uh, let me drink the liquid from the liquid from, from the, the actual. Okay, no, 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 no. Read, read this again. Read this again slowly. So I guess I'm not understanding. Oh, oh dear. There's oh, a dear. petition to drink the black licks with the liquid from the black. It says the liquid. Has anybody this, seen Prometheus? What well, the liquid is, actually like, turns? Like the stuff. Well, what they found out was the liquid that that when they opened it up was sewer drainage. Um, oh, so it's poop. Well, on top of dead fucking bodies. Body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside yeah. there. Yeah. Um, Why would you want to open the sarcophagus? Well, how well, old is this? How, how, how old no. is this sarcophagus? Have you Wait, not no, no, seen no. any movie with a curse? You're, 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 DJ, your biggest worry is opening it, but not yeah. the fact that thousands want to drink the fucking yeah. liquid, People which is shit, shit, piss. People... And look, body, I, I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. Dumb people have been making dumb decisions for a, a long time. So drinking shitty water is no nothing new. To well, me. this is going to be the curse sarcophaguses yeah. can affect me, man. I don't want a fucking tidal wave of sand coming at me with a face with Arnold Basel's face at me. No, stay at that shit. Keep that actually shit. sounds entertaining, though. No, I don't want Arnold Basel chasing me around the fucking desert. I'm good. I want Arnold Basel from or God forbid, Sophia Batella. No. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna be Tom Cruise in this situation. Well, look at this. A lot of people have signed. They only need about a. Oh, look, it's growing too. Yep. I want to. I want to read the comments on this. I don't know what the fuck. Thousand growing. people and counting. Drink. And counting. I wonder how many of them are black. Um, yeah, I'm making it racial. I'm making it racial. Oh my God. <laughs> that they want to drink it because it could be the forbidden nectar, or of whatever. What? Or of yeah, whatever. yeah, whatever. So this is going to be the YouTube challenge. It's like, oh, hey, let's bring shit in this. 
The same assholes that are burning people or burning wait, 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 fucking wait. irons. Sorry, go back. Yeah, whatever. What the fuck does yeah. that mean? I like this guy's reason for signing personally. He said, yeah, I just want to drink the juice. Because <laughs> fuck it. I want to kill myself. Yeah, with a I want to fuck it. I, I want to fuck. I want to fuck I the juice. Wanted, if they told me they wanted to fuck their sarcophagus, I would be less surprised. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could. I want to. I want to. I want to live in the sarcophagus. We could talk about how crazy this world is with like Russian fucking spies coming into the White House and yeah. this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are yeah. literally people who want to drink shit that is yeah. mixed with Curse piss shit. Curse and shit. mixed Curse. with three bodies or, obviously yeah. decomposed inside as you can see yeah. inside yeah. of yeah. the stew <laughs> that, that they want to drink hey justin you know what happens when you drink fucking mummified cursed water from a sarcophagus from 300 years ago you shit snakes well, see <laughs> shit snakes you to grow your fingernails really you grow well. your fingernails out for 66 fucking years some of the comments are fantastic yummy mummy the man access to the imbibe the the, the cursed see they even know it's cursed he even yeah. said it's cursed they want they want to be cursed Oh my God! I mean, I, I can see a lot of these people just joking around. Uh, but the problem is, there's a piece of one. Please. There are some people that are going to drink it. Yeah, it just says please. Like that's like actual. Like he's 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 pleading. Please. He didn't make a joke there. It was please. Yeah. Please. There's. Well, you know what? You know, this what matters. Makes me feel very this good about matters. this right now. This matters. What's the best part is that those 16,000 people, 25,000 people, they won't be able to contaminate the earth any longer once they ingest this That's liquid. True. Unless so, they turn into fucking mindless zombies and Rick Grimes has to kill them for fucking ever. And then we're going to get Zombieland 2 next year. Yummy mummy inside my Yummy tummy. Mummy. Okay, I give you credit for that one. That's See, that's funny. That's clever. That's, clever. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's okay, you, you get a pass. I mean, this guy says because why the fuck not? I give know? it to that guy. I give it to Yummy mummy inside my tummy. I give I mean, it to him. Guy, I mean, look at the health of those bones. They don't look <laughs> they like they're hurt. Body. They're hurting at all. It's because <laughs> the juice is bone healing juice, and I want to heal my bones. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. At least he has he has a point. Is that Mr. Glass? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> well, at least this guy said, I'm dumb and I need that red juice to learn how to breathe. We what? need this. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, I this guess. guy's got a point. I mean, you know, yeah. Why not? Uh, it's that's true. Than the water. That's true. <laughs> Holy shit. Really, point. We need to fix that. It's, it's been like that's four years. Good. good luck yeah, with well, that. You know what? Yeah, who lives honest, in Flint? Black people? Yeah, they'll never fix it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they don't need water. Water. That's clean. Just get shot by the cops like everybody else and <laughs> shut the fuck up. Fair. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got one more. Oh god. Oh, I can't wait what for are, this. What one. are we drinking now? <laughs> yeah. This one's gonna... regarding police. Oh, oh finding. Oh, well, they found 82 something. Eighty-two grams of drugs in a woman's vagina. Eighty-two Ooh. grams. That's my ex-girlfriend. I'm sorry. I told her to hide somewhere. She found out. 82 grams. What's his what kind of grams of It's funny because that picture of her, she was skinny before they she had it's like the best weight loss uh, program you can ever be in. <laughs> it was Wisconsin. Let's remove this drugs. I mean, Wisconsin, you gotta She's do something. 20. Jesus, huh. not anymore. And She's like 48 now. <laughs> She's she was like a time warp. Oh, like, her her companion was almost 20 years her uh senior. She is part of that oh. collecting group that loves to wear cheese on top of their heads, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a she's a she's a cheesehead. Yeah, and she's a crackhead. <laughs> and a crackhead. Oh, crackhead. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, okay. The other scene. The other scene. She used a plastic bag. Now I wonder. Do you think she used a brand plastic bag, or do you think her uh, face? she oh, used oh, a generic? Oh, one? I feel like she probably used Double a. Uh, like, you think freezer friendly? Paper bag. Use a paper bag right I, now. I mean, <laughs> plastic bag. Plastic um, bag. That, uh, that vagina must be I don't know. huge. Well, here's the thing about a vagina, Justin. It expands. <laughs> well, I'm familiar with the vagina. <laughs> but 82 <laughs> grams <laughs> shoved in there for a 20-year-old. Well, you know. I mean, that must be a fucking hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Better in than out, I always say. Let's <laughs> see. So we, got, we, got, we got right here. Here's a breakdown. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. What's, what? She had that too? She had meth in her too? Well, she had 36 grams of cocaine, 14 yes. grams of meth. In her? Okay. In her? In, in, in her in vagina. Her. Yes, that's oh, you, we're you, in the oh, vagina. You know, this you one, I thought it was just one drug. She's apparently a cornucopia yeah. of crap. She had yeah. XCD, XCD pills inside <laughs> her fucking vagina. 
<laughs> you know, the problem with that is she better used a double seal uh, because yeah, if any of that leaked into her vagina. Flat lock bag. It, it, wouldn't have done, it wouldn't have gone well. I hope she used one of those really, the sliding uh, yeah. ones, not necessarily the ones you have to pinch. You gotta get you gotta get the yellow pl- make and yeah. blue mix green. You gotta get one of those to make no, sure. No, that, that no, you can't be too sure about that. You need the actual slide lock. You want the slide Where lock, but the slide here. lock leaves like a hole there. Murphy uh, from Robocop said that <laughs> if, <Murphy. laughs> if the bag had ruptured while inside of her vagina, yeah, but yeah, she would have been it. likely dead. Likely oh, dead? Likely, likely dead? I'm All right. sure she would have been dead. If that bullet went through her brain, she'd likely be dead. No shit. <laughs> likely be dead. Drop it, and then it all Drop came it. out. Drop well, here's here's Drop a it, photo please. gallery of accused... <laughs> First of all, accused I just, what love, the guy who titled this must have been laughing his ass off. What do you like? What I call oh, this? Oh, like, they have a slide show of other accused vagina, vagina smugglers. smugglers. Okay. Yeah, I make it big, but I kind of want to see... Um, Make what big? <laughs> what are you talking about? The vagina. <laughs> well, she's 21, and she was r- arrested because she had mm. a crack cookie in her vagina. A crack a cookie? I've never heard of a crack cookie. Nestle's crack cookies. Keebler elves have been busy working to get you. you the Girl Scouts got nothing on this. Can you imagine the cookie monster getting a hold of oh that crack God. cookie? Me you want cookie. cookie. Oh, cookie, 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 cookie. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm fu- oh, heart attack. Cookie. I'm so fucked up right now. Hey, Big Bird, check this out. <laughs> this woman was sentenced to 25 years in prison for many charges, including... Her face. Bringing a loaded <laughs> gun into the jail inside of her vagina. Bing, oh, no, bang, but no, but then there's also in her butt. Well, she, yeah, had the drugs in her butt. She had oh, drugs in her butt and a gun yeah, in her vagina? Had, had drugs in her butt, gun in a vagina. <laughs> That's the song... I'm pretty sure of it. No, no. I think I think I think it's a Drake song. Sounds like you know in 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 America it's bling bling, but in her pussy it's bang bang. (laughs) It's bling bang. (laughs) Good thing she didn't sit on a toilet with a snake. Oh Oh, jeez. Oh boy. What a one off. This one looks like a good one here. Let's see. Where's a diaper? Erica Marie Dana. They found a hot pipe inside of her body cavity. So we're not too sure if it's vagina. That could be anywhere. That could be fucking anywhere. Good God, I feel bad for the cop. Oh, a pot pipe. Okay, a pot pipe. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. She's, I she's mean, yeah, like a bowl, yeah. if you're familiar. Yeah, yeah. you smoke like in the bowl, bowl you, know, right. you know. But it could be in her ass or her vagina. We, we're not entirely sure. I mean, yes. We're not in the business of fake news. I'm more interested in where for are We need the facts. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. That's the facts. Ooh, she's beautiful. Okay, Christina LaFont. She Lafont. also had $35,000 oh. Rolex. Well, of course. Concealed in her vagina. Time flies. <laughs> Up your vagina. <laughs> Time flies when you smell like fries. Oh, Jesus. She's, she's hot. Yeah. I like her. I like Christina. Hot I mean, I mean, she was you know, looking for a Rolex, so I'm sure she has a very high-class taste. Yeah, yeah I'm a classy vagina. I don't know if I date a girl like that. I'd be always looking for the remote. <laughs> where'd you put it this t- oh god again Is come on in your vagina again Jesus. That where'd you, said, put what? you see you my friends but i checked my watch and it was gone you know what when you you know uh like when you go out and and you're like with the wife or whatever and the girlfriend mm-hmm. and, and you're like mm-hmm. oh shit like do you have any pockets because you know you got to go do something <laughs> and you gotta put something in and and they're like wearing a dress and they have no pockets if you right. dated someone like this, they always you have, have a pocket. It. The question you got to ask is, yourself, what is Like when pocket. you get on a roller coaster and you want to hide your phone, because you know you yeah. can bring your phone with you, but you don't want to fly out, out. you yeah, put right. it in your vagina. But Justin, the question you got to ask yourself is, how I'm did she get I'm asking myself the questions? Yeah, 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 yes. you got to ask yourself. <laughs> I think you really have to ask she, yourself. How did she get the watch off to put in her vagina? I think the guy was doing a little, little fiddling little around down there. Little, you little, can say we don't care. <laughs> around and she, she did a little. Uh, this she did a little is a show where we don't give a flying fuck about anything. <laughs> yeah. A guy fisted her, her and like a magician, she <laughs> stole his thirty-five thousand dollars Rolex. She, she probably didn't even know it. She probably, you think Penn and Teller were Abra? upset that Those they stole Abra. 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 <laughs> All right, what do you think we got Abra, the next Abra, one? Abra, 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 Abra. You think the next one's going to be like really white trash? Or I'm going to say I black lady. I feel like we're slowly moving up. We're moving up. Okay, ready. Black I lady. haven't seen these Gotta before, be. so this is all new to me too. This is like a, a game. <laughs> it's a new game. Is it a black vagina smuggler or a white one? All right, vagina locking your votes. Oh, oh, babe. Dallas. Her name is Dallas Archer. Archer. Dallas Archer. <laughs> Dallas hey, Archer. Hey. Oh, hey, from Kingsport, Tennessee. That's only about a half hour away from me. Is this I your loaded... neighbor? Oh, really? 
Yeah. <laughs> a loaded five shot, four rinse, 22. Oh. Whoa. In her vagina. <laughs> okay. You brought a pussy to a gunfighter. Yeah, she versa. stole that gun. Do you think she forgot it was still in there? Well, a year you know. ago? Well, she's not oh. shooting blanks. <laughs> You God, think she went to the doctor you... and was like, "Doctor, I'm pissing weird," and he's like, yeah, "Let's take a uh, look." Miss, oh, you have a 22. You this, but uh, in you your have a in your cooch, and there's a gun in your vagina. You have a cooch of a 22. You clearly have a yeast infection, and you have a gun. And yeah. you have a gun loaded, <laughs> aimed at my face. Yeah. That is a <laughs> deadly <laughs> vagina. Is, are you pregnant? And the baby's holding me at gunpoint. What's going on here? I just need to know the facts. That is protective <laughs> sex. Like I've Jesus never Christ, seen before. That was anything. Mm. Is this how women the... are in Tennessee? Is, I don't that's, know. that's one hell of a uh, cop Be there. careful, Matt. He might careful. be the exception. And not Chastity, the bullet. Bullet. Chastity Bullet. I don't know. like that. <laughs> Her name is Dallas, but she lives in Tennessee. Dallas Archer Multipass. Dallas by way of Kingsport, Tennessee. Kingsport, Tennessee. Where are we go. What's your next? The pride of Kingsport. I'm going Asian. Asian? I'm going oh, we haven't had an Asian Whoa, yet. Off the board. Have we, have we had a Mexican yet? No. Yeah, I don't it's think we've had a Latin. Uh, I don't think we've had a Latin. Latin. Black lady. Give me ready? a black lady. You going to go with a black lady? Go on, black lady. Right, We're going. Go. Ready? We're going. There's Three, here. two, yep. black lady. one. Oh. Oh, oh white lady in a black shirt. Diane Keaton. Two, Crosby. Jennifer Bing Renee Crosby. 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 Yeah, Big Crosby's a long lost. Oh, Florida. There you go. Crosby's still in Oh, Florida woman. Of course. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, she was asked drugs. She said no. What you get? What you have? Came to the scene and then I have drugs up my vagina. I have drugs up my well, vagina. Well, hey, I mean, at least she came. That's forward. gotta be a sentence you what never thought you'd say. Is, is she getting a haircut? She looks, she looks like she's gonna be doing one of those plays. She, she where you gonna be in the middle. Background. Yeah. It's like she's having her first haircut or something. <laughs> You're like one of those fucking players that you know you are a puppeteer or something. <laughs> She, she, she was she was she was trying for Avenue Q. She didn't quite make it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't quite happen for her. It didn't happen to her because better the, luck the next time, Jennifer Renee. Every yet, time she tried to go to a not. fucking uh, rehearsal, she had to fucking stuff something up in China. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. I got to stuff up something in China. <laughs> <laughs> like anything. All right. <laughs> what do you, you think the next one's gonna be? Uh, I, I'm done with saying black lady, so it's going to be black I, lady. I'm on Asian. I'm still going to go really Asian. Asian too. You know I'm, I'm holding on hope. Asians don't put anything over the vagina, man. That's 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 not classy. All Asians right. are classy. Uh, Asians are classy. They, they won't classy feel the vagina distance. Stuff. Too Let's classy for vagina stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Ready? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm ready. Yep. Two. One. Vagina. Oh. Oh. Brittany and Sap. Warren Sap's daughter. Yeah, Warren. It's Warren Sap's daughter. Warren Sap's illegitimate child. <laughs> she had 1.7 grams of heroin. Of heroin. Wow, this is a body awesome. scanner. I'd like yeah. to see what one of these body scanners do. It's circuit. like the future. <laughs> it's total sure. recall. It's the future. That was, but, uh, get your ass to Mars. <laughs> get, the, get, to, get your ass in. Get, your, get some cocaine in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Stick this up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> give him give him Coke, Cole Hagen. Give him Coke. <laughs> Cole Hagen. Cole Hagen. Give him Coke. Give me the heroin. <laughs> Give the people heroin. Give them heroin, Cole Higgin. <laughs> Put it up their ass, Cole Higgin. Oh, body scanner. All right. Last one. Are you ready? Last one. I say add. <laughs> yes. Add. If you enjoyed this game, you might enjoy Meg putting up drugs up pee hole. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, 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 we got win. I win. It's it Amazon. Is Still you, you won a game. Matt won a game. Everyone yeah. won a game today. All, Everyone's you know happy. But you know what? I think we're all winners. We're all winners today with the vagina. Everybody and the who's drugs been listening to this. Man, Dallas been Archer's not a winner. She's fucking losing, man. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. yeah, that's a shame. It's it's hard. She lost her virginity to a weed pipe. I mean, that's, that's got to suck. Yeah, it could have been worse. Well, <laughs> could have been a. Could have been, been a lot problem. worse. <laughs> How could it be worse than that? <laughs> it could have been worse, John. A lot yeah. worse. <laughs> Drop I it. know what really could be worse than that. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing could be Not worse. Really much, huh? That's the end. <laughs> That's it, guys. One sick triceratops. Shazam, uh, she said as they looked into her vagina. <laughs> Zachary Levi? Yeah. <laughs> Shazam! Shazam! <laughs> Say my name so my powers can flow through your vagina. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
what? Oh, man. Let's well, just that's do it. it. It's weird. For the first episode of Simplistic Review Show Live. It's over? Yeah, I think that's it, guys. I think yeah. we, we've covered everything. Is there anything else you guys wanted to talk about? Um, we run the gamut. Can I get serious here for a minute? Oh, sure. Sure. Oh boy. After the vagina game, yeah. <laughs> After the vagina. It can go. It can't go anywhere but serious now. Well, just shout out to a a, a guy I watch on TV all the time that passed away recently. Uh, John Schnepp. Uh, rest in peace, brother. That that, that kind of like came out of nowhere. They all happened on the same day. James heart Gunn. attack, huh? Stroke or whatever. It was. Stroke. Yeah. yeah fucking. Stroke, huh? And it's funny because not funny, but like weird. Yeah, what the like, fuck, DJ? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought there was I'm serious. muting you. I, I follow him and his wife or fiance on uh, Twitter or whatever. So they, she was tweeting out pictures like, oh, like a week ago, like I'm, I'm sick. You know, uh, John Schnepp was like saying, it sucks to be sick, but I get to watch all these shows and blah, blah, blah. blah. And it felt like he had the flu. And then I get off of work and it's like, John Schnepp's dead. I'm like, what the fuck? It, it, just that quick, it, it happened. And it, it just caught me off guard. And then after that, that it was the same day the, the James Gunn thing happened. So it was like, it got yeah, kind of enveloped. But yeah, he got day, gobbled up. But yeah, man, he he was pretty cool. Uh, I mean, he he was responsible for the uh, uh, the motion comic uh, Black Panther show that was on BET. They took a uh, Reginald Hudlin's run. He did a couple of episodes of that. He did Metalocalypse. Mm -hmm. He did Death of Superman Returns. What happened? You know, uh, all that stuff that I like was into. And he was a comic book nerd, just like I am. And the fact that he died, he was it was just out of nowhere. It just caught me off guard. Yeah, so. young. Yeah, man. Exactly. He was also in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He was in the he was in the fucking parade scene, which. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah. He they they found he he had mentioned it one episode, and somebody looked up the parade scene and spotted him in the crowd and did a little fucking circle on him. So yeah, Josh Stubb was a badass, and he was friends well, with like. He was like, a Henry. badass, but he didn't uh, get M night. He wasn't like a ideas for movies. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he didn't create the devil. No, no, no. Well, okay. He's, he's, he's not no, you. He's no Shyamalan. <laughs> he's no, no Justin Polizzi. But no, like a lot of people were shouting him out. Kevin Smith shouted him out of Comic Con. Henry Cavill shouted him out. Mike Coulter. So yeah, he, I just one, just one to shout out the guy because he was. I, I was a fan of his. So there you go. All um, the good people die, and all the people that are shitty are still somehow uh, running the country. Yeah. Running the. <laughs> we'll and that's, talk about and that that's just time. in general. That's in general. That's anybody. That doesn't have to be. A guy who happens to have bad hair and tiny running hair. the country face well who won't be named <laughs> yeah let's not ruin this <laughs> so far, it's been pretty good so let's not we've been on a roll baby I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry I apologize. <laughs> well for matt stewart dj Thank Allison, you. Fuck, you. <laughs> fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck the two of you fuck the two of you I'm Justin Polizzi, and this has been Supposed to Review Show Live. Live! Uh, we'll be doing this uh, often and changing I'm some not... things around, and we might add some things that we're thinking about, but uh, stay tuned. We got yeah, some leave us some comments, uh, concerns. Uh, we still have the podcast stuff. coming out, and you can find that on uh, iTunes and Spotify and tune in, or on our website. That's Simplistic Review. Our next .net. guest will be. Ooh. Who you is wanna, our next guest? You want to drop that? We, should I? We should we drop that or we save that? We should save that. We uh, can drop it. No one's gonna listen. Or, 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 or we no can we can, drop, we can <laughs> drop it on the next uh, what do you call on the, on the next uh, commentary yeah. that we do. Right, we have a commentary coming up. We could drop we that. We can let people know. Oh, we already told them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it Uncle Sam? Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. <laughs> <Yeah>. Uncle Sam. <laughs> we spun the wheel Uncle of the dooms. The doom wheel. The wheel of doom. And it's then uh, we, wheel. We, 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 wheel will, uh, we will reveal who our next best special guest Not will be. Not the best wheel. No. Well, we wanted to watch. I'll tell you a little thing about that. We wanted to watch Uncle Sam. Of all the movies on there, I took one spin. Uncle Sam. <laughs> it was <laughs> fake. Rig, he was I, I rig didn't rig it or anything. I didn't have to cheat. <laughs> meant to be. The, God, the gods knew. It's like, oh, you want to watch Uncle Sam, don't like, you? You don't want to watch Independence Day 2. That's definitely not going to happen. No, That's just boring. Definitely not want to do no. that. Why would you want to do that? Although Dave is a great movie. But Dave is it's good. good. Dave is not bad. It's, it's, it's good. And we shouldn't watch good movies. But Man and I are the other ones I think that's seen Uncle Sam, right? DJ, you didn't see it. I have never seen Uncle Sam. I haven't seen it since Uncle early Sam something else. 2003 or four, somewhere around there. But I have the DVD, so. 
Yeah, I'm, uh, it's, it's, it's it's on par with the thanks killing and uh, the ginger good <laughs> man and uh, thanks killing. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a gobble, movie gobble, needs gobble, a sequel. Gobble gobble mother. Why bring Buffy thanks back? Killing. Bring Uncle Sam back. Yeah, oh, man. We need yeah. more Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam Maniac Cop crossover. Ooh. Wow, you just That's fucking bought my money. Like a yeah. <laughs> like the Terminator. Here's the money. Pay for it. Pay for it. Versus uh, Robocop. Robocop oh. versus Terminator. That'd oh, be- yeah. Drop it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop that. Yeah. Those are the good old days. Very good old days. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to do the outro. Is there anything All you right. guys want to say? Uh, fuck, fuck you. you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck ball. <laughs>